I'm alive. Da da dee da da da. Oh shit. How do I stream review show chat? Oh god. Okay, here we go. I just I've used a, a new a new way of viewing my shit. by and he's probably like what in the fuck is this girl doing? But alright, let's see. I'm gonna draw and it's gonna say lives lives because my name is Liz. backwards it is backwards isn't it is it showing backwards for you guys do you guys see that text how's it look i think i can make my cam backwards i'm a dude hey not twins what's up you're wearing the same thing oh my god i got this bikini on my storage unit i used to wear it a lot i bought it on stream and then i started traveling and i i forgot about it okay it's backwards 
booty, booty. Caleb, nice outfit. Let's check it out. This is it. Okay, hold on. I need to see if I can. I want to see. I think I can mirror. Okay, wait, hold on. I mirrored the camera. Well, that's weird looking. Does it make it? Can you guys read that now? Hold on. We're playing with something. Oh! Oh, that lid my chat broke. Be right back. <gasps> American, hello! I don't know if it might be because I'm using I'm using Stream Elements today, not Stream Labs. I'm testing something new. Today's my first day testing it out. So I don't know if I have, I don't know if those work here yet. W and B, what's up? Okay, it does look good. Hey, lips, beach day, yay. Woo! I love the beach. It's been like too cold for the beach. I mean, it hasn't been cold, cold in Florida, but it's been like cold enough to where you don't want to be in a bikini, you know? Backwards, all right, I fixed it. Oh my god, what easy? I'm a beach boy. I'm a beach boy, boy. I can get enough. Okay, I wanna now that I know that we can see it, I'm gonna color in. I'm gonna color it in. I wanna I wanna make it pretty. This is just the this is just the rough draft. Alright, let's make her pretty now. Now that we Ah! I keep getting sand on my board. Alright. Make her pretty. Hands everywhere. Marshall! How are you? Wait, it's not back. Is it backwards now? I fixed it. Oh, you got some socials to show up? Yeah, I've been I've been working on improving improving the look of my shit. Um and one of my goals for this year was to not use Streamlabs anymore and to figure out like what I should use instead that what's going to work for me and look good and today's the first day using Stream Elements and I, I'm a fan so far. I think it looks good.
because it just keeps throwing me off. I keep thinking something else is going on. I do appreciate all new followers. I just keep thinking I'm getting a rate because when I use Streamlabs, my sounds were always like rates or something. Yes, I did. Um, hello. It's just you didn't respond to me, American, because you don't love me anymore. That's what happened. Extremely personally. Alright. What am I drawing? Um, it's just a board that says Liz, Liz Beach Boys. I got these, uh, I bought this board that it's like a chalkboard little thing and I love it. And I got these little chalk, chalkboard markers and I've just been having a blast like chalkboarding shit. So I brought it today to the beach just because I thought it would be. <laughs> um, how are you? It says Liv's Beach, thought it said Liv's Beard. What? Thank you, Braxton. <laughs> hey, woman, what did it What did it do? Never got to me on Discord for mod. I'm sorry, I haven't got around to it yet, Discord. I've been good, though. I've been super busy. I spent the last, like, I started my new Twitch schedule last week. I haven't posted it yet, but Braxton's actually working on the panel now. Um, but I, I started my new Twitch schedule, so you guys will be seeing me more, and um, I, I had my days off, and I worked on like, well, my days off weren't really days off, I did photography and stuff like that, but I've just been getting caught up on things and getting ready for possible upcoming travels and stuff. on a schedule. Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays on Twitch, occasional uh, Monday streams that will be like higher quality with the camper set up. So um, it can be anything around the camper, but it will be like high quality desktop streams like to be announced on Mondays. Those bottoms are just being eaten up. Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I have a bag full of bikini bottoms and not a single one doesn't eat my ass because don't know how to bag bikinis that fit me. No, I'm just kidding. All my bikinis fit me. I hate when people say that. People will be like, maybe if you buy bikinis that fit you. I'm like, fuck you in the fucking ass, okay? Maybe if you had a big ass, big tits, big tits too. You know that song, big ass, big tits. How's that song go? That's what I just thought of. Anyways, <laughs> the OG floor queen, Hogler. My love, how are you, Alex? Hello, Michael, welcome back. Where's your beach ball? It's fucking 30 degrees in Houston. We are dying. I know, I saw um, Sam, my friend, he used to live here. Thanks for the follow. Da da da, da da da. Um, but yeah, I have a friend who lives in Texas. He moved there from Florida. And um, he was posting about how it was like really fucking cold there this morning. And I was like, yeah, I bet you wish you didn't leave here because I'm chilling at the beach, babe. <laughs> But yeah, I'm sorry it's cold. That sounds fucking miserable. Can't relate. I'm sweating my titties off. Alright. Lives Beach Boys. Woo! <laughs> Alright. Let's see how this works here. Oh, 
Kate gifted a tier one sub to Chris Savage. Flack. Hey, how exciting! Should have paid. Hey, should have paid. Thank you so much, should have paid, for the sub, gifted sub to uh, Chris Savage. Dot Flack. Welcome back for two months. Um, thank you so much, should have paid, for the support and kindness and being the first name, the first Beach Boy. Woo! Beach Boy. <laughs> all right, guys. What colors? What's your favorite color? Should have paid. I got all the colors hey. actually. You can have any option you want. They're all here. That guy was a weirdo. So he walked up. Love your energy. How are you so happy? Cause I'm, I'm here with you guys. I have such a fun job. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that guy like walked up over here and he like came up with his camera out and he walked up right behind me like with his camera and um, like walks right up here like super creepy like all the way around and then right behind me and then he was uh I like go I automatically a lot of times will like adjust the camera if someone approaches me like that because I know they're about to do something weird and I just like to have you know video footage in case it gets really weird or something and so I, I automatically like go to adjust the camera and he's like oh you're on tv or something I'm like no you're just being weird he was gonna do something creepy, but then he saw the camera. He was gonna come up and take a picture. That was creepy. I told you, Braxton. This is why I don't like going to the beach by myself. It's always so creepy. George, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. People love to comment on others' bikini fittings. Yeah, but you don't ever go into like, you know, a guy, a guy and be like, your bikini doesn't or your, your swimming trunks are too long or too short on you. I don't think they fit you right. <laughs> what color chalk you got? I have all the colors. I got these fun little, they're like chalk crayons. They look like crayons. They're really fun to draw with, but they actually erase. This is like a chalkboard thing that you can reuse. Good, it's raining here. I wish I lived near the beach, but I get burned easily. Oh, Alex, I'm sorry. Gotta get good sunscreen. This is the one that I've been using lately. It's 50. Um, I don't know, not sponsored, but it, it helps. I'm a ginger. Shut up, paid. All right, what color did he say? Should have paid. He didn't say a color. Hold on, am I missing? Red, oh, you did. Okay, I'm like so behind in chat. What the hell? Okay, red, yes. Red's a good color. Red's a feisty color, okay. Um. I use a lot of this red, so let's see what this red looks like. I haven't used any of this red yet. I think it's a more, a deeper red. All right, let's see. We're going to plot Shut Up Pain right here in the middle. Every day, like four times a day. <laughs> I miss you doing headstands. 
I'll do a headstand today. I, I decided I'd do one today. There's nowhere that it says you can't. I just I just started that rule because I was being a pussy, but I feel like headstands are chill, okay? Headstands are fun. I like doing headstands. I just followed you on Instagram. Thank you, John! Guys, definitely check out my Instagram. It's lipsticks. I post uh, professional photography on there and on Twitter. Also check out my Twitter. I just hit 8, 8K on Twitter. I'm, I'm excited. I like Twitter a lot. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I can I can do the things I like on Twitter versus Instagram. <laughs> How does that on loose site work? Don't mean sound like a newbie, just through good fun and times with friends. What are you talking about? Thank you, should have paid. Here's a virtual hug. Markian, here's a hug for you. How are you? How have you been? What is good? Smart camera techniques you got to be with on smart live. What? Just, I just, well, okay, here's the thing. I actually meant to bring a different tripod today. I meant to bring like a real tripod where it's like a metal base, three legs, and it has the little phone mount, and I can adjust you guys to whatever height, stuff like that. But I actually forgot. And, um, well, I forgot. I brought everything except for the part that holds my phone. And so I got here today and I was like, fuck. I have like, three tripods and not a single part to put my phone on and then I realized I had my gimbal so I attached my gimbal because my gimbal has a phone holder I attached my gimbal to another tripod so you guys are like way lower than expected today Trooper paid gifted a tier one sub to emo underscore gin what? Let me turn this down. That was so loud. I don't even have. Okay. What? Okay. What was just said? Let me. Where's my? Oh God. How do I open my alerts? One second. What? Just... What? What did you just say? Gifted a sub. Emo Jen, Emo Jen, welcome to the kingdom. Should have paid. Thank you so much for two gifted subs in chat. I, I missed what you said though. Can someone help? I missed. I want to know what he said. Ugh, I'm so sad. I missed it. Also, I'm trying to. Oh god, I've done things. I'm using a new stream app and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Is that good? Is that good? Okay, I did things. Where do I put your name? Welcome, Emo Jin, by the way. Should have paid. What, what did you say? You want me to draw some hearts around your name? What you want? <laughs> no, three times that guy walked up to you on the beach. No, that's a different guy than the guy who walked up to me on the beach before the guy who has walked up to me i've had you are right they're all old guys so they look kind of similar they're all like always just like old same looking dudes that approach me on this beach i don't know what it is i don't know why these guys are so ballsy they walk around this beach with a camera no fucking joke walk around the beach with a camera walking up to girls that are by themselves and this or like go and take creepy weird off when the pictures of the girls when they're not even like looking it's like their ultimate spank they oh i got a picture of this girl on a bikini bro just go and like open up coco beach fucking live stream cams and just watch those all day you'll see tons of girls walk around bikinis or i don't know try the internet don't be weird no matter what app you stream on you'll find behind fall behind in chat i'm reading chat on here so yeah i'm reading chat the same way i always have of course i'm gonna fall behind nothing's changed as far as that front should have paid. Ayo, thank you so much. <laughs> you look good in that bikini. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. If I was there, I saw you. I would ask you for a picture and chill, but not like the guy did. Here's the thing. Um, chat has seen this. I have been approached by guys at the beach who have not only asked to take my picture, but also who have asked to take pictures with me. And I always say yes. If someone comes up and like asks me, I'm just like, sure. Because Rax and I do photography a lot. I'm pretty comfortable taking pictures a lot. Like sometimes people be like, oh, I, I just got this new camera. I just want to play around with or something. So I'm just like, okay, whatever. And I'll just play around with it and have fun. But it's the fucking guys who will like 
the old men who walk around with the cameras and they try to like walk by subtly or creep up behind you and take super weird pictures and as soon as you look at them they're like oh like they just got caught doing something weird that's when you're just like okay you're being weird maybe if you i turned around and you like cracked a funny joke or something but no oh my god <sighs> they're just creepy about it like three years ago my you're really not that interesting clip is like four years old now Yes, that is me. He didn't say I was cute, PJ. He said I was really not that interesting. <laughs> uh, follow you on Instagram. You should wear that swimsuit when you go snorkeling together. This is your guys' new favorite. It's just a new bikini chat. I got out a bunch of my old bikinis. Um, it's actually an old one that I just haven't worn in a long time. Well, that clip of you dropping that door in your camper was freaking fire. That clip almost seven or what was it like 70,000 views now and I'm just like what? <laughs> I never expected a clip or just chilling around my camper to have a bunch of views like that but I guess I guess things can happen to me anywhere unfortunate events can happen anywhere <laughs> can I get a follow back on the food guy food guy on Instagram what Man, them old guys are savages. They are. They have no shame. That's the issue. It's like, I don't know why they don't have any shame, but they have no shame. Like, they're respectable old men, but they seem to think they have no reason to have any respect. So they just go and be gross. Aw, oh, thanks, PDF. I don't know if someone came up asking me that I may kneecap them just saying extra creepy unless it's a MILF or something. I mean, yeah, I've never had like an attractive guy come up to me. Well, I've had attractive young guys come up to me and ask me for a picture with them. Like they'll be like, oh, can we take a picture together? And that makes like maybe a little bit more sense to me. The old guys, like I just know what they're doing. Like I know it's like spank bank material. And it's just like, it's it's just a little creepy because you could just simply go up and say, hey, you look good, can I take your picture? But they just like walk up with their camera or they hold their camera out and they'll walk by or like sneak up behind you and stuff. That's really weird. <laughs> That's when you want to need them. That's when I need someone big like you, bad fish, to fuck them up. <sighs> Is your head okay from the RV? My head's fine. I don't I don't feel anything now. Um I think I had like maybe a mild concussion, but it wasn't it hurt really bad right after and um it definitely shocked me. Um I was having a hard time holding back tears when it hit me, but I'm good now. It was it, it's it's been enough time that my head has healed. I am fine. I'll make it should wear the green bikini again are you talking about the one i just posted in my instagram i almost wore that one today but i haven't worn it here yet i always get nervous about wearing new bathing suits because one time i wore a bathing suit that was like very similar to another bathing suit that i had worn on twitch and i didn't think there was anything wrong i was just living my dandy life and then i went home after streaming and i saw that my twitch account was banned <laughs> and the bathing suit was within TUS according to TUS so sometimes I get like a little nervous about experimenting because I'm like I don't know the made up rules today. I smell some very strong marijuana. Who the fuck is smoking? I don't see anyone near me. That is weed. That is weed. Where is it coming from? There's only old people. What old person is smoking weed? I really want to know. I don't know why. It's just bothering me. <laughs> that RV clip is going to be your double feature. My double feature on ridiculousness. I've had other clips that have, like, have had a lot more views than even that one. I mean, not that you're really not that interested that's the most but then the the rv one but a lot of them they all have been like removed from my twitch for dms i mean i removed them because of the dmca stuff so i don't know i am covered in sand <laughs> covered
love it. Thank you. This title, Omega Lol, it's true. It's fucking true, bro. I, I, I am the OMG Beach girl. These girls coming in here trying to act like they're, they're, they're something. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, when we go circling together, Braxton can be our cameraman. He's the angle. He can do the back of us and front of us. It's, I was just Braxton of us swimming. What are you, what are you thinking is happening, Michael? I'm a little confused right now. I don't know if I would have any shame at his age either. Wait till I'm at the nursing home. It's always like, yeah, it's always old guys. And when I mean old, I mean past 60s. Those are the older guys who don't have any shame. And they'll like go up to you and try to take pictures of you at the beach. Or if you're a server at a restaurant, they're the ones who are always like, man, I like to see my food come, but it's even better to see the server walk away. Like weird shit like that. That's, those are the, the age group where you get that. <laughs> motherfuckers are weird these days they are they really are there's not a lot of shame in this world i mean look at me i have i have a board on the beach and there's these old people sitting right over there watching me stream <laughs> launch of what oh <clears throat> did you hear the launch today yeah i actually didn't know that there was going to be a launch today which is kind of annoying because then when i saw the launch i was like fuck if i knew that was happening i would have guaranteed started stream before because the beach where I am at right now we would have had great views of the launch but yeah I was getting ready for stream and all of a sudden I, the camper was shaking and I'm like what the fuck is going on and then I realized oh a launch they had been doing so many launches there was a launch like two days ago Starlink's been crazy where's the bud I didn't bring any any Mary Jane I'm sorry guys Sorry to disappoint. There's no Mary Jane at the beach today. I just slit my joint. Sorry about that. It's okay, George. Enjoy yourself since we can. Token up for the arthritis pain, the old people. <laughs> yes, that's what they're doing. And man, hello, how are you today? I'm just chilling at the beach, enjoying um, a sunny day. Last week, we had a cold front and we had a lot of rain and so this week's it's been nice and warm and the weather's been really good today and tomorrow I think the weather's gonna be great and then I think Saturday and Sunday we're gonna have some rain so I think uh, tomorrow I'm also possibly going to go to the beach or go kayaking or something just to take advantage of the sunshine and then the next two days, I don't know. I don't think it's going to rain that much. I think they're intermittent showers, but we'll see. It's Florida. You never know. Did I get your question? What question? You know where I came from, but I want to get a fuck you today. What are you talking about, American? Not the recent one from your Instagram. You were wearing a light green one on the beach here on Twitch. It looked amazing on you. I wore a light green bikini here on Twitch. Light green bikini. I don't know. I don't know. I have a green bikini top that has black flowery bottoms. That's the only green bikini I can think of. Other than the one that I just posted in that I was talking about. How do I get my name on the board for real? A sub. You can sub. <laughs> Shut up, hey. <laughs> that's that's the username. I didn't write that. <laughs> I mean, I did write that, but that's his username. <laughs> Can I see you without the cat? I'm only wearing the, the cat because I've been trying. I'm actually not facing the sun, so I really don't need the hat. But, um, oh no! Our board shot. It's my makeshift board. Look. This is the back. Mary Hoosier. 
Asia. Marijuana. Marijuana. Some marijuana. No, I'm just kidding. I'm getting American. I'm good. I quit. She's hiding the bangs. I have um their curtain bangs. So they hang down more like to the side instead of going down like this. And they're getting pretty long because I uh I'm a, I'm do a haircut, but I don't know. I've been trying to grow my hair out, so I go really long times in between haircuts, trying to get that hair nice and long. Hope it doesn't rain Saturday. We're fishing on the yaks. Who is? You and me? Let's go. <laughs> fishing on the yaks? Wait, where? Banana or Indian? How about the marijuana smell? Don't talk shit about the marijuana smell. You know it's good. You know it's the shit. You know that uh, smelling like some good old ganja is your favorite thing. American. American talks so much shit. So do they like weed in in uh, Argentina? They, they don't have it recreational, I suppose. I assume that's that's why. <laughs> Believe thirty mentioned he never did fishing from a beach, so that's something maybe you can arrange. Ooh, I, yeah, I told him when he comes this way, I'd be down to show him lots of cool things here on the East Coast. Um, but yeah, I have multiple fishing or beach fishing rods. So I think I have three. So one for him, one for Brax, one for me, or one for Bree, one for him, one for me. Brax probably won't care that much. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I'd be down to take the beach fishing. This is honestly a really good, this area is good for beach fishing. Um, maybe like a little bit, well, he's gonna wanna stream it. Yeah, maybe just like a little bit more south, 30 minutes, but pretty good. Pretty good beach fishing. You can come if you want. Me and like seven other people are going to the, on the banana by the port. I, I'm kidding, I gotta stream Saturday, so. Um, I'm streaming Saturday and Sunday. That's my new schedule, so I'm probably gonna be, if I, I don't know, annoying, you know? <laughs> I, seven other people sounds scary. I, I, maybe I'll, I'll hang out with you by myself. <laughs> On the side note, it's winter there, right? It's still winter here just because it's like, just because it's sunny, people are like always oh, like, <laughs> no, it's, it's still winter. It's just, we don't really, it doesn't really get too cold in Florida. Like we'll have cold fronts here and there. North Florida gets a little chilly, but South Florida kind of stays like this. Daddy Ding, what's good? Recreational here, it's probably illegal and you can smoke next to a cop and they won't say shit, no one cares. And yet you're that square about it? Huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Smoke weed every day? Yeah, but I'm out, so no weed right now. <laughs> out, out of weed. I haven't gone to the, the dispensary. I was thinking about going earlier, but I was like, eh, I'm trying to get to No, it's not that taboo. It used to be in most places. Do we need a creeps counter? <gasps> we should have a creeps counter. We have had so many. It honestly only makes that much sense for the beach. But, um, I mean, I'm sure there's other days that I've had creepy encounters. But I almost always have a creepy encounter when I come to the beach. Like, we've already had one today. And I told Braxton, too. Like, he, I was like, I want to go to the beach. And I want to go by myself, but my only issue is when I go by myself, I always have like creepy people come up and talk to me. And he was like, oh, you should go to this one beach, which is like farther away from the pier where I had the really not that interesting cliff happen. There's a lot of tourists there. So he was like, oh, if you go down farther down the beach, um, you probably won't have that. So last time I came to I tried to come here and the beach parking was full so I had to go back towards the other beach and I had two creepy people come up and talk to me well this time I, I found this I, I got to this beach and there was beach parking so I was like cool I'm gonna come here have a great day I walked down here and how how long was I into the stream I've only been streaming for 40 minutes so I mean within 30 minutes someone already came up and was creepy 
I don't know why we attract the creeps, but I, I do. Yeah, I'm streaming, might make a YouTube. Oh, you're making a YouTube video? And streaming, that sounds fun. With the seven other people, how do you get them on board for that? I have like, I have a hard time getting other people. Like I can maybe get one or two, but it's hard to get a lot of people to want to come stream. <laughs> Bree, hey, hello. Hi, can I ask you a quick question? Go stranger, yes, what's up? Dare you to smoke seaweed? All right, let's go, let's go. Where's my grinder? I'm just, I gotta dry it out first, American. I'll probably die. Maybe I'll turn into a mermaid. <gasps> what if? Oh, that'd be amazing. <laughs> if you could shrink everyone in chat, what would you do with them? I know. Okay, so I have this storage thing in my camper. It's like this big long storage bin that goes under my camper. It goes all the way across. There's a lot of room. I would deck it out like Barbie style. I'd build you guys all little tiny like Barbie houses. Some people would have like maybe a tent that they got to sleep in. I would have like the coolest freaking Barbie setup. But it wouldn't be fun for you guys because you guys would obviously be trapped. So I would just like play with you guys. And I'll like come in and like readjust your house. And if so and so is fine with so and so, I'm gonna be like, bad, you're not allowed to live together anymore. And then I take you guys apart, go and make you guys like a new house, build you guys a little cardboard, uh, like pillow forts. And I don't know. It sounds fun, right? Having a bunch of little mini chats to play with. All of you guys I get to like torture you guys. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sarah, you should make your beach a naked beach. Sarah, the Nike Beach is uh, like 45 minutes north, and I do like the Nike Beach, but I can't go there on stream. Also, don't have signal at the Nike Beach. What was the guy's opening line? The guy who approached me, he didn't have an opening line. He was an old dude who walked, he saw me, walked all the way around, walked up from behind me with his camera out like this looking at it and as soon as I saw him and I see the camera in his hand I know he's not coming to just be like oh happy sabbath or something so I like grabbed my camera and I adjusted up and I was like can I help you and he was like oh I didn't realize you were on tv and then like goes and walks away so <laughs> please turn into a mermaid Seb what in a mermaid if I said, will you smoke some some seaweed with me? Become a mermaid? It sounds fun, right? We can convince Brax if we both do it. <laughs> Block, what's up? Alex! Hello, how's your day? Wait, you're gonna torture us? Yes, Alex. I'm gonna build you a cardboard box. You don't get anything fun. You're gonna live in a cardboard box because that's what you deserve for being bad. We would like be like that little town of men in black in the locker live the giver of lights yeah when I open when I open the little storage thing that's when you guys know that you're about to be fucked with and then I'm gonna come in and just like I don't know dress you guys up and shit make fun of how small your little tiny little penises are because like if I shrink you guys then they're gonna be I don't know be so funny put you guys in dresses and shit that's what I would do if I could shrink chat. Don't give me that power. It's too much responsibility for me. <laughs> you had to get the shot. OGs are funny. Can't help it. Bro, I'm down. So we gotta dry out some seaweed, grind it up, smoke it on the beach, and then it's bound to turn us, oh, on a full moon. I don't know why, it just probably needs to be that way. Full moon. You gotta know, smoke it up. We gotta sprinkle some keep because if I'm gonna smoke seaweed, I need a little bit of keep on top, you know, a little, little powdered sugar. And then we become mermaids. <laughs> it's happening. We don't listen to him half the time anyway. That's true. We don't listen to Braxton. Braxton's in charge because he's responsible. Like, he's like, he's like a parent where they're, they're a parent, but they don't have, their kids are really bad because they're not very good at parenting. Like they don't discipline them. So Braxton's like responsible and knows what's supposed to be done and tells us, and then we're bad and we don't listen. That's how Braxton, Seth, and my dynamic is. 
Oh, what the fuck? That's an upgrade. I'll take the cardboard. Upgrade from what? How you're being treated now? Don't act like you're being fucking abused. Don't act like that. Don't be a little crybaby bitch face crying for help. Don't act like that. You are totally fine. You are totally happy here. Don't try to act like I mistreat you or something or that you don't have a good time around here. I do not appreciate little whitey baby faces. Oh my god, I'm dead. American Fix redeems. He gave us a creeper day. Woo! Not in my hands. Like she changed the stream element. She needs to re-add the source. Oh yeah, I did, I forgot about that. Today is my first day. Um, Alex, I switched from Streamlabs to Stream Elements. I hate change. Anyone who's followed me for a long time on Twitch knows that I fucking hate change. I I don't hate change. I just hate change when it comes to like stream stuff because I'm really bad with technical difficulties. And I tried to switch to Stream Elements like a long time ago when they first started being a thing. And I remember I had a ton of stream issues. I hated trying to read chat. It was just really annoying. And so ever since then, I just like went back to Streamlabs, which is what I always use, and I just stuck with it. And lately, Streamlabs have just been very shady and shitty. And I used to pay for like Prime, so I didn't have a watermark, but I was like, fuck them, I'm not giving them my money. So I stopped paying, and I've had a watermark on my stream lately. And I'm like, this looks so bad. Like, I'm a partner in Toy Story. I should maybe just not have a watermark. I mean, I know it's like, not two in my own horn, but maybe a watermark shouldn't be there, you know? So, I went to Stream Elements, which, oh, what, what a coincidence. Their free version doesn't have a watermark. That's so lovely of them to do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'll add the redeems back whenever, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. Do you think it's a cool idea to find models on the beach or better to go with organized paid shoots? Are you talking about if you're a beginning photographer um, and you're just trying to like get some shoots with models for like a portfolio? I think that it's not bad to go to like, let's say a beach. Um, did you say a beach? Hold on. What did you say? Yeah, beach. Um, I think like a beach or somewhere where you know people are gonna be dressed up or dressed cute or whatever, the vibe of what your shoes. I think it's fine to go around and ask people. I think the key is to try to, uh, you know, be very polite, don't be creepy, don't be like, hey girl, you're looking fine as fuck, do you mind if I like practice some pictures? Maybe just keep it on a very professional level and then maybe it might work out well for you. Maybe make yourself, uh, if you don't wanna make yourself like some business cards at least have you know, something decent for these people to like look at so that you look somewhat established. I think it's fine to approach people. I don't think that you need to like go and pay models, but I do think that like if you find a mod, if you are a beginner and you don't really know how to po pose people and you do know of someone who models often, I feel like you're probably gonna do better with that person just because they already know how to pose themselves a little bit and they can kind of teach you too. So it just kind of depends on like your skill level and stuff. If you think you can go and find a random person and take good pictures and pose them, then by all means, do it. <laughs> just tell them, hey, I'll give you your pictures for free. <laughs> We gonna get radiated with fucking monster mutation from Loch Ness Monster? Yay! I feel like Florida would be the spot. Our seaweed would be the one that turns us into something, something crazy. Good morning, lovely, live and beautiful, you're so awesome. Dance, good morning, how are you? Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here today. Makes me enjoy the day even more. The other day you said you were going to sit on me and suffocate me. I probably would do that if you were here in person sounds fun <laughs> I hate change said the nomad I know I, I that's why I was like okay I actually enjoy change I don't mean it like that I like I am very spontaneous and I like I do like change with personal things like I think it's very exciting to have something different happen but with streaming sometimes I don't find that very exciting like I find it exciting for you know something crazy to happen on stream or you know new opportunities but when it comes to just like how I stream I get a little annoyed with like having to switch apps and stuff because it's frustrating 
<laughs> By the way, two subs you owe chat to Nature's Coffee? No, it's a sub for a name on the board. Five gifted subs is a head sand. I owe, I owe, the thing is, should have paid. He is the one who did both of the subs. So his name's on there. I haven't done anything wrong. Don't fucking come for me. His name's on there. His name's only, I'm gonna erase Beach Boys and just put Beach Boy because he's, he's the apple of my eye. <laughs> George, hello. George is also just going to town with the Bettys. Thanks, George. Is so either me getting suffocated or live in a box so a box is totally an upgrade? Just suffocate you in the box. Just kidding. Hi, how was your road trip? I'm still technically on my road trip. I'm, I'm like a nomad technically, so I don't really have a home base. I just bought a camper, so wherever my camper's parked is my, my place right now. I'm staying in Florida right now just because I'm working on getting, I have to replace all the trailer tires um, on my, my RV, so that's something I'm waiting to do. And then, um, I'm also just kind of like waiting out the gnarly parts of winter before going on a decent road trip. But yeah, still road tripping just in Florida, which is where I'm from. So people keep thinking I'm not traveling anymore, but still traveling, still jumping around, still in a camper. But as far as Krubby, the road trip so far, it's been amazing. Um, I made it out to Washington. I did all of the southern part of the U.S. coast. I did all of the West coast. I went from basically the Rio Grande in Mexico to uh, almost to Vancouver. I couldn't cross into Vancouver because of COVID restrictions, but I, I saw it. And then um, I drove through like the middle part of the US back to Florida. I saw Yellowstone, which is probably one of my favorite national parks. It was so fucking cool. Um, so far, so good. I've been really enjoying traveling. I've seen so many things. I realized that the world or the US is very vast. <laughs> There's a lot of different uh, environments and cool shit to see. Am I from Tampa? I'm actually from the East Coast. Tampa's on the West Coast. Um, I'm from near like Cocoa Beach area. That's where I am right now. <laughs> Watch the sunburn. Wookies! I've been streaming for about an hour. I'll probably have to reapply a little bit. Thank you. How are you? I am not, I'm from Ohio technically, okay yeah, I was born in Ohio, but I've lived in Florida since I was two, and I don't really remember living in Ohio, so I like to say that I'm a Florida girl. <laughs> I approached a pretty gal at a wedding and was hired, I was hired to photograph, was that creepy? No. <laughs> was it the bride? <laughs> it's actually just published in a magazine for the first time this week, holy shit, crabby photo! Good fucking job, what the hell? Hell yeah. Congrats, I'm so proud of you. That's a huge accomplishment. Nice, I'm in Ormond Beach, loving it down here. Ormond Beach, what type of photography do you do? Ormond Beach isn't too far. Swags, hello, Duvald, I'm happy to be hanging out with you too today. I hope you're having an amazing day. Solo, hello. Another productive day for me, seaweed and music. Are you talking about seaweed or the beach? Because um, like now I'm confused because we've been calling seaweed, or I don't even know what we've been saying. We've, we've been saying a lot of things. Ah, the sun went in my eye. I'll never see again. <laughs> ah, it was so bright. It looked like directly in the direction. And it's right there. It's, there's no clouds, no nothing. Ow. Are you streaming with 30 today? He mentioned you on his stream. Is he on the East Coast yet? Is, I don't think he's like, is he? Wait, okay, American said something about St. Augustine earlier. When is he going to St. Augustine? Because St. Augustine is very close. St. Augustine is right around when he should be telling me that he's in St. Augustine. Because <laughs> St. Augustine is, that's right where, I, I drive there all the time. So that's that's close enough. That's where I'm ready to come hang out. I, if he's there today though, I, I mean, I'm down to hang out tomorrow. I'm at the beach right now, covered in sand. I don't know if I'm ready to meet up, but tomorrow I totally could. Your bikini bottoms are so lucky to be worn by you. <gasps> Thanks. Thank you, I'll let them know later. I'll whisper in the, in, into them. <laughs> 
let them know how special they are. Do you have specific stream schedule? I do. I actually have Braxton making a panel for me today with my stream schedule. I just started it last week. I used to have a schedule a long time ago when I started streaming. Haven't had one for a while. But now that I have my camper, I can finally do one. It's Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Um, I'll be doing outdoor IRL. Um, and it will be between noon, so 12, to around like 6 or 7 Eastern time. Um, and then occasional tentative Monday desktop streams, but they won't necessarily be at a desktop. They'll just be like 4K with a computer and a camera. Um, but those streams will be on Mondays around my camper. So like making gummies, cooking, I don't know, desktop, random shit. So yeah, new schedule. I'm getting right. I'm going to be posting it tonight because Braxton's working on it right now. I'm going to pin it on my Twitter. I'll post it on my Instagram stories, and I'll post it on Discord, and I'll post it on Twitch. So, if you follow me somewhere, hopefully you'll know about it. <laughs> hopefully. But if you but if you don't follow me, then you should, because then you won't know about it. Only get good gear, endurance tires for your camper, and nothing else compared. Just order mine. Yes, I actually was looking at some Goodyear ones. Um, that's why I haven't done it yet, because. I want to buy, I need to buy five, I want to buy four, I need four tires for my RV and then I want to replace the spare tire with a really good tire as well. Um, just because when you blow a tire on a camper it can be really bad. Um, so yeah, thank you Obi, I will definitely, I will definitely do that. Oh my god. We're in Ohio, I live in Ohio now. Um, I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, my grandma, grandpa, I have like aunts and uncles, they all live in Ohio. Most of my family is from Ohio. When I was two, my parents, my dad and my mom came to Florida and they stayed here and they were like, wow, why do we live in Ohio? It's better here. And they basically went back, packed up all their shit, quit, quit their jobs and just like came here and they struggled for a while, but they made it. And then now we're in Florida and I like Florida. <laughs> I like Florida a lot. Today's going all right. I really love your swimsuit. Duvold, how did I know that you would come in here and let me know that you appreciate my bathing suit? It's a new one. I thought of you when I pulled out. I was like, wow, Duvold's gonna notice. He's gonna notice the effort. Thank you. <laughs> Mostly wildlife photography and product photography, but the printed images were pinup portraits. <gasps> pinup! That sounds so fun. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay. Yeah, Florida's, I, I, I would assume Florida's pretty good for wildlife photography. Wow, that is so cool. The tattoo around your thigh is sexy. Thank you. It says, it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. It's a quote by Marilyn Monroe. Photographing wildlife. Ooh, like alligator. his destination not sure when he's making it there well whenever he gets to uh st augustine i would definitely be down to come hang out that's literally where like braxton's mom works and stuff so we go there a lot um are you getting wet today i'll go in you want me to you want me to go take a dip i'm kind of scared it, we had a cold front last week even though it's been warm like for a few days the water should be warmer I, i'm such a pussy when it comes to cold water i know it's the atlantic i know it's warm i know the pacific's cold as shit y'all need to compare it y'all need to tell me how it's negative 15 where you are if i get in that water it's below 72 it's gonna be cold okay it's gonna be really fucking cold for me <laughs> but i'll do it i'll do it i'll go in as soon as i can get caught up in chat i'm so behind thank you charlie brown you're so sweet two days ago he was in pensacola yeah, that's when I checked in on him. I checked on in on him when he was going to Pensacola. Curves aren't saying things for work. Aw, oh, of course she's saying. Anything I can do to help. They're about 125 each. Yeah, that's what around what I was seeing for I think I actually saw them for well no, yeah, I think that's around what it was. It's gonna be like six hundred, seven hundred dollars for me to get all my new tires. <laughs> so that's why I've been putting it off doesn't sound fun. Cincy, are you a Bengals fan? 
I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm not really a sportsy person. I used to play sports in school. I used to play, I used to be a point guard in basketball. I used to play volleyball. I used to be really into soccer. Uh, I wanted to take lacrosse, but my school didn't have it. Um, I always, I, I like sports, but I don't really care for watching them. I don't think it's that enjoyable. Like, if I watch a sport, I'm just like, that looks fun to play. I want to play. But I don't really think like, oh, wow, he just did that. That's so impressive. I don't know. I just, a bunch of grown men running around playing games. It's like, okay. <laughs> Favorite hobby? Dancing. Streaming. <laughs> Uh, dancing, I really like dancing, I, I, I don't always, it's just like improv shit, I used to do competitive dance and I loved it, I want to start taking some classes, but for now I just like putting on music, smoking some weed and vibing out, really like doing that, I really like hiking and being just outside, not even just hiking, just like roaming around, going and looking at random animals, talking to them, seeing if they want to be my friends. Um, traveling, obviously, photography, love that, love streaming. Those are, those are my things. That's what I do a lot of. Um, I really want to get a pole. I've been saving up for a pole. I really want to get into pole dancing, but not like, more just like working out and shit, but I want to do it on stream. I want to go and like put it out in like the woods in random places and get into that. That sounds fun as fuck. Should say booty full. That's what my tattoo around my leg should say. <laughs> Can't help it. You're always so beautiful, them, especially in your right. Oh, I'll do bold. Thank you. I bought this bikini a long time ago when I first started streaming. Would you love to share some of my work, but not looking to self promote or spam here? Crubby photo. You should message me on Instagram if you have. Do you post your photography on Instagram? Champ. Hello. Can I still do headstands? I can. I can. George, thank you for the 20 bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support and all the bits. I appreciate you. You've been so sweet today. Harold, you're so cute. Thank you. <gasps> the Wash Shot Ohio, thank you so much for a gifted sub to Arn. Thank you for 85 gifted subs in chat. That's fucking insane and crazy. Thank you for always coming in here and being so supportive. I appreciate you guys. We have some Liz Zaps and Liz Loves for the White Shadow Ohio. I'm gonna put your name right here. Alright. Yeah. Got some sand on my board.
the White Shadow, Ohio, 85, 50 subs, in chat. Holy shit. Oh, that's my man! That's my guy! We know him. We talk to him. <laughs> we, I, I know that guy for a long time. Every time that I come to the beach and stream at the beach, I swear I see that guy. Always. Yes, I do. I was just m mad like, oh, just mass like a bunch of your images. Okay, Krovy photo. Let me, hold on. Let me check you out. Saw you on a video taking sun for like four months ago and here we are taking sun like four months ago and here we are. Har Harold, what? What are you talking about? Saw you on a Mr. Video, Mr. Beast video. Oh! That's funny. Yeah, I, my, the Mr. Beast video that I was in, oh, I wasn't at the beach. I was at my old apartment pool. But yeah, I was, I was at, I was in a bathing suit. <laughs> How funny. Here we are. Olivia, what's the board for? It's, it's subs names. They're, they're, they're Liv's Beach Boys. We got the Y Show Ohio and we got, we got Should Have Paid. Those are my beach boys. They're, they're here with me in spirit. They're getting sun, even though the Y Show Ohio is probably cold as shit right now. <laughs> when are we gonna get that green bikini from Insta? You mean the one I wore on my post I just posted today? I haven't worn that on Twitch yet. I'm scared. <laughs> I've said that before, but when I get new bikinis, I always get scared. Like, I think I, I, I'll assume that the bikini is in TOS because, like, I see other people wearing them, but then I wear them and I get in trouble. So, I don't know. That's one of those ones where I look like a lot's coming happening. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Thanks for repping the O. Oh, Ohio! Ohio! <laughs> Dangerous! Oh my god! Six months Street! Thank you so much! Dangerous 715! Thank you so much for the support and the kindness and help me do what I enjoy doing. Oh we got we got cameraman back at it again. This is this is uh the guy earlier. There he is. There he is. That's the guy who came up to me earlier with his camera out to take pictures. Just wanted to make sure we got him on camera again. Just because he got me on his camera. Um, dangerous! Let me put your name up in here. I think Brad's new to the sub too. Oh shit. Let me tell him. Let me tell him. I think you muted the sub sound. I think he did, because I haven't been noticing it. It's been throwing me off. Just make sure police can ID him. He's literally, oh my God. So earlier, someone in chat was like, oh, that looks like the same guy that's come up to you before. Funny, because not the same guy, but he lives in like, okay, they're not the same condo complex, but there are a bunch of condo complexes along this beach and he lives at the one that looks just like the one that the other guy lived at. They're probably both wealthy old men who are perving on random girls at the beach for fun. All right, dangerous. Do you have a favorite color? I'm sorry, White Shadow. I did yours on my own. I'm sorry. I, I did white and I, I wanted to do some chattering, but just because it seemed fun. But, um... Any, any colors you really like, Dangerous? Should I match your Twitch color? You want purple? Well, I can imagine a lot's happening right now. You mean with me? Um, nothing, not, that's not happening on the rest of this beach. There's other people wearing bikinis. He could have gone up to old lady Karen over here and taken a picture of her, but no. Are Girls America allowed to wear short shorts to school? It kind of depends what school you go to. I, for most of my schooling, I went to a Christian school, so uh, we weren't really allowed to wear much of anything other than khakis and uh, polos. But when I went to public school, I did wear a lot of booty shorts. As long as your like chapas aren't hanging out, you're good. Um, or your, your butt cleavage, as we like to call it here on Twitch. Not allowed to do that here on Twitch either. I've been banned for it, no joke. Not allowed to have even the minutest bit of butt cleavage hanging out, but you can be at the beach, no problem. But anyways, can't have
have butt cleavage at schools. And then also, I remember when I used to, I went to this public school, um, like girls could wear tank tops if the straps were like X amount thick. Like you couldn't wear, they call these spaghetti straps. You couldn't wear tank tops with spaghetti straps, but you could wear tank tops that were like two straps and super deep. However, they had that rule, but I wore a tank top that was in the dress code according to them. Like it was thick enough, but it was low. And I've always had like kind of okay-ish boobs. And I got in trouble and had to wear the shirt that said tomorrow dress for success. It was this like big oversized t-shirt I had to wear. It was so unfair. I'm like, there are other people who wear the shit and they don't have to do this. But here I am. Blew up your DM, sorry, but wanted to show the work that got printed. Crubby, you're totally fine. Rude guy, first role of photography is you gotta get ask the model first. I mean he's not doing photography it's not like he has like a nice camera he has like some shitty you know camera that like all old men have you know they're not gonna do anything better than a phone camera would it's just they have their flip phone and they don't realize that if they just upgraded you know to like a decent smartphone they could just do away with the camera and just carry that thing around and be more subtle than carrying around a camera but you know I'm not trying to tell these old men how to creep better because I don't need any help okay um Let's see, Krubby. I'm gonna see if I got you on Instagram here. Adventure, I'm assuming that's you. Florida Wildlife Adventure. All right, whoa, holy shit, dude. Holy shit. These are good. Okay. Wow. I like the one with the, isn't that a, what's the King, King Harry Fisher? I forget what they're called. Um, Harry the, I don't know if that's like a tadpole, but that's awesome. And the deer, wow, these are crazy. What kind of lens do you have? Like a 200, uh, I don't even know. Uh, Braxton Sex. I'm on it, it's not muted, it's your volume on your phone. Oh! Hold on. Hold on. Earlier though, it's weird, he says it's the volume on my phone. But earlier, I had follower alerts going off even though I had the volume on my phone down. But, alright. I fixed it. Alright, we'll get, we'll get the nooks and crannies sorted out of my the new app I'm using a new streaming app and it's a little confusing my school cracked down on dress code after Miley's VMA performance and all the guys fell in love with her wait what was this a recent performance or you mean like a long time ago when she was like sticking her tongue out a lot and stuff was she wearing like short shorts or something I don't remember um when I was in school, the most like popular thing I feel like that was going on wasn't girls dressing like complete hoes. I mean, sometimes they did that, but it was more, the, the bigger thing was like, there were these girls who had these bracelets. They're like these little plastic bracelets that, I don't know how to explain, they're really skinny and they're just colorful that's all they are and there was this thing in my school I don't know if this is everywhere but if you like break the bracelets if it's a certain color you're supposed to like do something hold on Braxton's calling me hello yeah I'm missing what I'm missing subs. Um, what tab am I on? What do you mean? Oh, I'm in streamer view. Um, I opened activity feed and it doesn't show me anything. Well, I, I just had chat open cause like, I just, that was all I had open cause it wasn't telling me anything. Huh? 
I don't think I've missed anything. I wouldn't notice because I'm being trapped. What do you mean? Okay, I'm seeing, I'm seeing things, though. I did. I did. Great. He's like, tell me to do things I already did. Would you pose for a few pics if you casually asked about it? You mean the old guy? Yes, I've said this before. I said this earlier that I've literally had, like, I don't care if they're creepy counters, but I've had, like, people come up to me, like, guys at the beach, and be like, hey, can I take a picture of you? And when they ask it politely, I am just like, sure. And I'll actually pose for them instead. I'm like, oh, I, you know, how, how do you want me to pose? I mean, as long as it's, like, not they're normally like you know when you say yes and you're being friendly they don't try to like push it too much but it's like the people who don't ask and they're just being creepy hey hold on i am am i missing things what's going on here hold on why is my thing looking so weird Dancing dog, thank you so much for the 150 bits. Wait, is someone, what is happening? I don't see these alerts right now. I don't see the alerts that are happening. Other than like, I don't see them in chat. Someone help me, what is going on? Who has gifted what? Someone gifted a, a few subs, I, I think. Ugh, oh, why can't I see what's going on? My stuff's fucked up. The main lens I use is Nikon 200. I can tell. Long ass distance lens. Dancing dog, thank you for the 150 bits. Uh, I think there's a lot happening right now that I don't see. Those bracelets show how many times a girl's given a blowjob to people. Oh, I thought they ripped off and then you had to do things. So I wore a bunch of them. I'm just kidding. Okay, what just happened? These are test alerts? Oh. Guys. This had me so excited. They're test alerts? Stop fucking with my shit then. Hi, love. I miss you so beautiful. Brian, welcome back. How are you? Thank you for being here. Insultin, hello. Chat certainly rules. Chat does rule. Alright, so... You're telling me that the little colorful bracelets, when you put them on, they were supposed to say like what sexual activity you have done because I 100% was told by like a group of people and maybe they were fucking with me now that I think about it. So this is why I'm verifying. You're telling me that when you wear those bracelets, certain colors that 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 means that's what they've done or that you rip them off and I heard if you like tear off a blue then you owe a, if the guy tears off a blue one then he owes you the sexual favor or if he tears off this color then he owes you this like that's how it works so I think I was being lied to <laughs> have you been working out a lot I've been working out but I haven't done like I've been doing a lot of muscle stuff and I want to do more cardio but We've had like a cold spell, so I wasn't going out as much doing cardio, I was just doing muscle stuff, so now I need to get back into my cardio. Um, this dog is so cute. This lady has this dog off the leash, and he is so adorable, I don't know what he's doing. He's walking so like, slow, like he's getting ready to pound something. What is he looking at? Is he just being timid? Is he just well behaved? Is he waiting for his owner? This dog's so cute. And think those jelly bracelets meant different things from school to school. I've heard the breaking one and wearing version too. Yeah, my school, if you broke them, I, I mean, I used to wear a lot of colors and I hadn't done shit. And it was more just because I thought it was like fun. But I had like one guy come up and like break a bunch of them. And then after that, I got pissed off at him because I didn't like him. And then I stopped wearing them. So I was just like, ew. And he was like, no, you owe me these things. And I'm like, yeah, no, bye you hello i was mad because he broke my bracelets i was like you 
know. I like I don't have money. I can't just go buy more of you and you just broke them. Okay, how cold is the water? Are you gonna go swim? Let's go do it. Let's go get in. Let's fucking do it. Let's feel the water. Let me open chat here. Alright. Let's see. I'm pretty good at guessing the water temperature. Um I don't know why, but I'm pretty good at guessing water temperature. So I'll touch it, feel it, let you guys know what I think, and then maybe I'll look it up when I get back if I remember. <laughs> All right. Look at my cute little spot. Oh shit, how do I flip camera on here? One second. Uh, all right. My board looks jank as fuck, but I found beach plants. I love beach plants. We don't have a lot of them here in Florida, but I found them. I walked far and wide till I found some beach plants to chill by. They just make it feel more peaceful. I'm just like, ah, just in nature. I'm gonna run into this guy on this bicycle because I didn't see him. <laughs> Color represents the, what sexual action I've done to someone, to do to someone if you broke it. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, but. Uh, apparently in some schools it was what colors you wore meant the sexual acts that you've done to someone. You know? Your ass is looking good. Thank you. Predict 78. Okay, I think it's going to be a little cooler than that. I think it's going to be like 72, 71. Here's why. We had a cold front recently. And uh, I don't know. But I could be wrong. Okay. Okay, it's not so bad. It's kind of chilly though. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be getting all the way in. <laughs> okay, it's cold. It's cold. Ah! It's so cute. Hey, doggy, where are you going? Tumbleweed from Australia. What about tumbleweed? Look at the dog. <laughs> He's chasing a bird. Oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. He's tearing it up. He's gonna get that fucking bird. You better fly up, bird. Why is this bird so dumb? I like how this bird is like flying, getting it so hard, flying low. Like, oh, I'm gonna outrun you. Just go over the water. Just do something else. Dogs. Or the bird's so dumb. The water's way too cold. Uh, I wish I was in Florida to be honest. It's, it's pretty nice here right now. I can't blame you. I think that the water is like 68. Your skin says it's 60. Oh my god! Well, you. So do I. <laughs> I think it's like 68. Uh, yeah, I think it, I think it's like 68, 67. It's pretty fucking cold feeling. Maybe, maybe oh, it's cold today. <laughs> Oh great, now she's getting wet. Well, I had to know. I had to know what it was like. I don't know about you, but I honestly love showing my hands in public and pissing off prudes. Honestly, I can kind of relate with that because, okay, when I when I was in Oregon, um, I did some beach streams and I'm getting the sand off of me. I've got sand all over me. Um, I did some beach streams where I had Hold on. Oh, fucking cold. Oh, okay, that's all I'm doing. I can't. I just got some sand off of me. It's really cold. I did some beach streams, and there was one day where I had a cop called on me, and apparently the person called the police and said that there was a naked woman, which I was not naked. I was wearing a bikini. <laughs> that was appropriate enough for Twitch. So the naked woman was dancing, appeared to be on drugs at the beach. And so I had a cop come to the beach. A sheriff, a sheriff decided he needed to take the call because it was super important, you know, a naked girl dancing around the beach. Couldn't send someone other than the sheriff to check it out. And uh, he was like, no guys, I got this call. Comes, and then he verifies that I'm not breaking the law, that I'm not, you know, naked and just was like, you know, have a good day, disappears, you're not on drugs, you're not naked. And then I saw him, he went and talked to the guy who called the police and the guy lived 
right by the beach had a beachfront house. I'm just like, how in the fuck do you buy a beachfront house and you're a prude? <laughs> like, how do you buy a beachfront house and you're you're upset about seeing a girl in a bikini? <laughs> I think his wife was like upset or something. He must have been sitting outside on this porch. <laughs> Can you show us the curse real size? <laughs> Thanks, gum. Can tell you were in Oregon? Why? How can you tell from looking through my vods and clips or? I remember that stream. Yeah, it was pretty funny being approached by a police officer. I was so confused when he came up to me. Like, I realized he was coming up to me before he came up to me because there wasn't that many people on the beach. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna get some sand off my towel. There wasn't that many people at the beach, so I don't know. It seemed kind of obvious that he was coming to talk to me, and like I was obviously being the only one like doing anything abnormal. So I was like, Yeah, he's coming to talk to me. I don't know why, because I'm clearly not doing anything wrong, you know, just at a beach with a camera, and uh, yeah. Imagine if being upset by seeing a girl in a bikini. It happens. It happens a lot. Not so much in Florida. People don't really give a shit. It's pretty, pretty acceptable. <laughs> Aw, thanks, miss. His wife made him call the police because she got jelly. That's what our theory is. That's what chat's theory is because nothing else really makes sense. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was like Apollo Beach. That's why I like Apollo Beach and Play Linda. I like Play Linda a lot. That's for people who don't know. That's like, well, there's multiple, there's a lot of beach entrances, but uh, like the beach at the end is the nude beach and it's pretty chill there. Uh, people normally don't fuck with you because you're at a nude beach. Um, that's why I, I like it there too, but I can't really go there on stream, so. Alright, we have got in the sand off. Not looking and had to call to save face with his wife honestly probably she was probably like well i don't know i i think that so. she was probably complaining about it so he called he was just like oh i'll take care of it sweetie because she can tell it was bothering <laughs> or something thank you live for your appearance oh of course Hog. thanks for being here was the photo shoot in alaska fun okay so i wanted to do a lot more photography in alaska but obviously like <laughs> It was extremely cold when I was there. Um, so we did only get to do like one main shoot and um, it was a blast. Like I had to, uh, I because obviously like we shot in uh, not, not a lot of clothing. So we had to like plan to uh, like pauses and breaks and I had to like wear certain things and like get warmed up but then go back out it was fun though it's, it's really fun like shooting in different environment than you're used to it was fun shooting in the snow <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna move this side
I don't find what people find so offensive about nudity as long as it's not done in a sexual way they should fuck off and let people do their own thing. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, there's just the rotten people who ruin it for everyone. <laughs> That's kind of like the issue. Like most people probably are mature enough to handle certain things, but I don't know. I feel like it's the, the randos who just, they abuse it and then ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> they kind of, maybe they didn't see the clothes at all. What? The clothes at all? You mean the clothes that I was wearing for the stream where the guy called the police? Um, I was wearing a dark, uh, black, or no, dark blue bathing suit bottoms and a white and blue bathing suit top. Um, yeah, it was thong bottoms, but you could definitely tell I was wearing clothes. <laughs> Paul, what's up? How are you? Eric, hello! I would have knocked on the door and invited myself for pizza and dinner. Wow, that would have been definitely better than having the police call for no reason at all. <laughs> Wasting tax dollars! That's what I was like. I was like, wow, you're gonna really, like, waste tax dollars on a, a useless call. You have a, a sheriff coming out here for this. <laughs> That's why I love Nicki Minaj so much for po popularizing the booty. You're a booty man. I'm actually happy that booties got popularized too. Even though um, for a long time I didn't have any but it's just now that I have one it'd be annoying for it not to be cool I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now that it's there, <laughs> be annoying have to get rid of it. <laughs> That'd be a lot of work. <laughs> I'm jelly stuck in the office at work. Not that I want to be at the beach, but I would love to be in the woods doing photography. Crowdy, what's wrong with the beach? What's wrong? Why do you not like the beach? You're in Florida and you're not a fan? I wouldn't mind being in the woods doing photography too. I, I spent uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, actually Monday and Tuesday doing photography out in the woods. Be on the beach, it's negative 72 here in Maine. Oh, or Minnesota. Minnesota. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Minnesota. Maine. M-A? Fuck. Maine's M-A. Okay. Right? Oh, topic reminds me of cancel culture epidemic that we live in. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it was a state trooper check phone. All right. One second. Yeah, state trooper, not sheriff. State trooper is the one who had to come out. Why am I checking Braxton? I have nothing from you. I don't know what I'm doing. Minnesota here, though. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> was the live stream recorded the one in Oregon probably the only problem is if you try to go and find a VOD from like a while back you probably won't be able to find it it only it only saves VODs for so long like if I do other streams it will only keep so many so that was a while ago when I was in Oregon definitely quite a few months ago posing yourself or does Braxton take charge? Uh, kind of depends. Um, when we first started doing photography, I did all of the posing. Like Braxton would just go to a spot where he liked how it looked and he would get like the camera settings right and pick out the spot and then he would just be like, he would set up and then I would just go and pose um, and do things. And uh, now it's a mix. Like now sometimes I I do all the posing and he just takes pictures and then other times like he'll say oh I want you like this or he'll tell me where to go or what to do or like kind of his idea and then we'll just like modify each other's ideas and then sometimes it's just like he puts the shutter speed really fast and I just do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> just dance around and shit. Keep checking my phone. I don't know what I'm checking. I don't see anything. Oh, I got it. Sent you 
the pick. Did you not get it? Modify the text just a little bit in certain places, but that looks good. I like that. I like that a lot. I, is that the size of a panel for Twitch? Will that work? I love. Also love the guy on the one wheel riding by. Oh, you mean when I was at the beach? Um. Yeah, that was great. I, I have my one wheel in the truck today. I brought it, but I wasn't going to ride it because it looked like it was high tide. Um, but I do have my one wheel. I wouldn't mind going one wheeling. <laughs> Love the beach. There's too many people. Half the people think I'm creeping, taking pictures that are half this scaring off wildlife. I prefer the beach in the a.m. Oh my god, the beach, especially for photography, is better in the morning anyways. You get sunrise and then you possibly see the animals and stuff without people scaring them off but yeah I get it the beach is really crowded um here in the winter like now on days like Mondays Tuesdays Wednesdays you can go to the beach midday and you can probably find some places where you can get where there's no one else but it's it's kind of hard these days I feel like there's a lot more people near the beach Maine is M-E. Oh my god, thank you. M-E. I, I was so, I knew when I said it, I said it wrong. I knew it. I was like, I know that's Minnesota, but now I need to know what Maine is. And now I can't remember. And I look dumb. <laughs> uh, it's funny too, because I like travel. <laughs> and I'm like, Maine. <laughs> should upload your mods to YouTube channel. You know, I really should because there's other people who do download my clips and my VODs and upload them and they'll be like, lipsticks at the beach. And then they get, you know, sometimes they don't get that many viewers, but sometimes they get a good amount of viewers. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Why didn't I post that? But I don't know. I feel like I got to edit stuff and make it look good. I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist with shit that goes on my stuff. We can see your beautiful eyes. Sorry, it's really hard to open my eyes for you guys. It's very sunny. If you use Twitch Turbo, keep your VODs for 60 days. What? What's Twitch Turbo? Is this something I have to pay for? I'm supposed to pay Twitch. I'm supposed to pay them to keep my work that I provide for them on their platform. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just, I'm just verifying. jelly of being on the beach is fucking snowing in Norway. I'm also jelly of the towel, but that's a whole nother conversation. I love this towel. Um, I got it at Ron John's. Thank you, Baton. I'm sorry it's snowing in Norway. I'm sending you some warmth, okay? I hope it gets there soon. Looking good. Thank you so much, Chris. <laughs> hey, good evening from Germany. Hi, hello. How are you? How's your day? What is good? Like two minutes ago, a random guy in jeans just drove by. Oh, on a one wheel? Yeah, I've been seeing a lot of people around here with one wheels. Um, the other day I drove by a school and there were like seven kids out there all one wheeling together. I'm so, what the fuck is going on? I love it. I think it's cool because a while back, I always saw, like I saw one wheels at Ron John's and stuff, but it was pretty rare to see them. And now I've been seeing them a lot. Uh, must be making some bomb ass content to go from top four to top one. Juicing World. Um, when was I ever top 40? Maybe when I first started? <laughs> Good evening from Germany. Javius, hello. Good evening. No, like two minutes ago, random guy. In okay, I'm going back and forth between comments. And man, I'm good. How are you? Of the sea. So yeah, isn't it a beautiful day out? I went into the water a little bit ago. I was kind of feeling a swim, but it was kind of chilly. So here we are. We're just getting sun. The sun is like very bright, but it doesn't feel very hot. Even though today's high was supposed to be 76. It never felt like that. 
Paladin stand a chance? What are you guys talking about? Should I do the same as you live, but I'm a man? Same as you, me how? You mean my same content? Sure, do it. Go to the beach, go, go kayaking, go do the outdoor stuff. Let me know how it goes. It'll probably be fine. <laughs> there's, there's guys on Twitch who do the same stuff. Maybe a little different, but thanks, Mon. Burhead, hello. <sighs> Left Kansas City in the morning at 9 degrees and in Florida shorts now. Wait, it's 9 degrees in Kansas? God damn. When I was in Kansas last, I actually, Kansas was the last place I camped before Florida that I stayed at for actually a while. And I chose to stay there because the weather was so nice, but I guess, I guess it's a little colder these days. <laughs> that was a couple of months ago. Thanks, Dante. What size are your feet? I uh, wear a size five or six, depending on the shoe. Um, I got small little feet. They, uh, I think I stunted my feet growth whenever I used to dance because um, I used to do like ballet and stuff like that and I decided to go on point in ballet and uh, you're not really supposed to do point until your feet are done growing because it like, I don't know, the way you stand on them is kind of, I think bad. <laughs> I think it causes some long term effects like never growing again. Seems really relaxing ever do yoga on the beach. Yoga. Um, yes and no. I like to do certain things here and there, but honestly, when I do yoga, I mainly do yoga for stretching and just like, I guess, core strength. I don't really, I don't know, I just like working out and stretching. I'm not a big, like, yoga, yoga person. Um, however, I, here's my thing with the beach. It's sandy. And the sand gets everywhere. And it moves around a lot. And when I, I do yoga, I like to have, or stretching, working out, anything. I like to have, like, my yoga mat laid out. And I like for it to be flat and not to get sand everywhere. And every time I move, just getting shit on me. So that's a lot of times why I choose not to. Because I just feel like, I don't know, it's annoying at the beach but I'd be down. I almost bought, brought a yoga mat with me to lay on. <laughs> I thought it'd be comfy. Hi, what are you doing? Poopa, I'm just chilling, just hanging out, enjoying a sunny day at the beach, enjoying getting some vitamin D. Um, yeah, just chilling. Um, it's been pretty cold this past week. Well, not pretty cold. It's been like, <laughs> Florida last week which is kind of cold for Florida so I have been uh, not wanting to go and be in the sun or anything because it's cold and I don't like being cold but this week's really warm and sunny so here I am well flexible thanks hey getting shit on me too especially real shit <laughs> you missed subs on the board So that also seems bad, so I don't know. 
Only one question, lipsticks, olives, yes or no? Fuck no, I hate olives. Olives are disgusting. I don't want them green, I don't want them black, don't bring them near me, they're gross. Sagittarius, Sa sugar tits, oh my god. Yuffia, <laughs> hello, I thought you were calling me a Sagittarius, I'm like I'm a Leo, or a Libra. I don't even know what the fuck I am, I'm a Libra. <laughs> um, sugar tits, hello, how are you? Five, I fixed it. So I've missed five? What? How did I miss some? How many so far? I have, I have, uh, who names on my board? Uh, but should have paid gifted two subs. So I, I'm pretty sure we're at three, but I don't know. Olives are tasty and juicy. Ew, do you, what's, what are olives so deep? like um, a salty I don't really know what olive juice is like do you like the olive juice is it like pickle juice where if you like olives you fuck with the olive juice because pickle juice bro oh <laughs> when I used to like go out in the dead of summer and stream and get uh, overheated which happened to me quite a bit streaming in Florida um, I would, if I started getting signs of like dehydration or heat stuff, I would go and take shots of pickle juice. Now you only need like 15 minutes of sunlight a day. They probably have a bad diet so it doesn't get absorbed. So having like being healthier helps you absorb vitamins better. Is that true? Can you say ginger? Ginger. Libra, I'm a train wreck. Yes. I was born October 16th. You missed Dangerous? <gasps> I did miss Dangerous! Oh my god! Why did I miss him? Was it because my board fell over? Dangerous 715! Oh my god! <gasps> I hope he's still here! I'm gonna have to message him and tell him how much I love him. Oh no! It's because I think my board fell over or something. I was going through something. Something fell his eyes. No! I was so bad. His name, if you wanted, like, name. I, you know, it's funny. I picked purple. I picked purple, and I forgot that I said that. Because purple was his name color. That's his color. That's what he's getting. I asked him what color he wanted and then after that I don't know I'm 80 I'm sorry <laughs> thank you so much dangerous I hope you're here <laughs> I'm sending you a big hug you're amazing Devald hugs for you you're amazing you always come in here and hang out with Special. What's with hugs today? Everyone's hugging. It's because chat is friendly. You know what, American? It's because chat comes in and they, they're my friends, okay? 
they are excited to see me like I'm excited to see them. They want to give me a hug, I want to give them a hug. Everyone else comes in here all nice except for you. You come in here judging me and that's why you're judging people for wanting to hug because you don't want to hug. Just because you're salty doesn't mean everyone else is salty. You could have had a hug but you didn't want one. Steven, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you for the support and helping me do it. I enjoyed doing, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, Steven wants a hug. <laughs> Shit, my mouth slipped. Your mouth slipped. Oh, so you forgot to be nice. Is that what happened? You forgot to be nice because your mouth slipped? I see. Oh, she's right. That's what I said. I'm always excited to see chat. I'm glad we're all excited to come. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Hell yeah, honey nuggles. It's just American. He's he's a salty baby face. It happens. Baby face, but old man. If only she can talk shit to me like that, but she playing. What do you mean? I literally talked mad shit to you earlier. It's never enough for you. Never enough. We love live on the beach. I love being on the beach. It's so peaceful. The atmosphere is so nice. The wind's blowing in my hair. I can hear the ocean waves crashing behind me. My lungs are being refreshed by the salt air. Probably needed it too. <coughs> I haven't judged you, but in COVID times, I ain't hugging you. Bruh. I had COVID. <laughs> Best immunity is natural immunity. And I not only have had the vaccine, but I also had the unpleasant experience of experiencing COVID. So I'm pretty sure if, if you're going to be able to hug anyone safely, I'm that gal. <coughs> As I call. It's the leftover babe, you know? Yeah, me, give me a hug. That was sweet. Hug. Hair looks so gorgeous in the sun. Thanks, Juicy. I feel like I'm having a little bit of a bad hair day. I, I had, like, a few... When was it? Yesterday morning. I had a great hair day. And then I put my hair up in a bun, and I took a nap. And then after that, I guess I rolled around a lot while I took a nap. My hair was hella frizzy. Since then, the hair has just been... I don't like it like this, but I'm glad you appreciate it. <laughs> St. Augustine clear sun, 74. Oh, we forgot to look up the temperature of the water. I guess 68 of the water in the ocean. Let's see, cocoa, beach, water, temperature. Shit all the time 
because it just gets old. When you do IRL and you're live all day and you have like a ton of people coming in, like that's all you heard, especially at first when COVID like first became a thing. But <laughs> that's when it was just so annoying. I've noticed other IRL streamers who literally have the word uh, to where you can't say it in their chat, which makes sense to me. It's like, it, it can get really tiring. Um, and because of that, I like stopped going around, people stopped interacting with a bunch of people, all that kind of shit. And now I just like, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't really get started with it because COVID's still a thing. And then also I've become a little bit more awkward and I feel like a lot of people during COVID have become just a little bit more like off put by people, random people approaching them. <laughs> it's just a different vibe these days. I had masks on the speakers, don't worry. Masks on the speakers? What are you talking about? So you don't get COVID from me? Oh my god, you're ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I always want to send you hugs every day. Love you so much. Dear Vold, I'll take your hugs every day. Spy plane above getting them creep shots. What else? I've actually wondered if like people who drive fly their planes really low, if they have like high quality now binoculars and shit they're just like checking out randoms because like think about it i for instance like my mom's little backyard she used to have this big fence up and it was in the middle of woods and when no one was home dude i would walk out of my backyard butt ass naked just go and put down a towel lay out walk around because like we had tall fences backyard like no one could see but like planes would fly over sometimes and i'm just like you know saluting them with my tits <laughs> like maybe they're looking down. I don't know. I, it, you fly a plane, you just gotta expect to see to see things that people maybe wouldn't show you normally. You going for a swim? Uh, probably not. I got in the water a little bit ago. Apparently, it's 62, and I'm a Florida girl, and I like warm water, and it's fucking cold. It's not enjoyable. <laughs> I thought I could get in it and probably enjoy it if it was only like maybe 68, but 62, I don't know if I'll ever enjoy that. That's cold. Your hair is always getting curly when it gets longer. It's a look though. <gasps> Juicing, thank you. I am, um, I'm trying to grow it out right now. I've been like really pushing. I don't want to get it trimmed because it's starting to get crazy, but I always have to push past like the uncomfortable parts where I'm not liking my hair and then get it past that and then I can get it trimmed and I actually grow a wig. I don't know, it's, it's my hair science. I'm trying to get it back to where it was when I started streaming. It was like right here. That's where I want it and that's where it's gonna stay. Once it's there, we're not fucking with it. You guys won't convince me to do anything. I don't know, Celsius, look it up! Celsius, I don't know. Oh, oh 16 Celsius? That is cold, told you. 16 Celsius is what the ocean is. Fuck that shit. That's what the Pacific is usually, right? Probably, around that. It's pretty, the Pacific, yeah, it feels like, I don't know. <laughs> when I went to the Pacific in the summer, it felt about like that, it was pretty cold, but I was able to cuff it up and get in. I also went one time I don't think it, it wasn't summer, but it was still like sunny out where I was, so I was able to lay out on the beach, but um, I think I was in San Diego, and I went to get in the water, and that water was god awful cold, like I literally felt like I just got the wind knocked out of me just trying to get into it, and I was like, I'm good. The Pacific is rough, I like how in Florida, you can basically get into our ocean any time of the year, like even if we have a cold front, you can probably get into it, you'll be okay, but... Pacific? Nah. It's just not my my vibe. Biker was fast. I didn't see him. Can you do a headstand again? I didn't see it. Guys, I didn't actually reach the goal. Braxton did something or gift thing. I don't think I reached. I think I have one to go, right? Right, guys? I haven't done a headstand. <laughs> a proper headstand? I can do a proper headstand. I can do a badass headstand. I think. I haven't done one in a minute, but I, I can do good ones. <laughs> Never been to the side of Florida. 
You should! The East Coast is nice! I like it. Um, I like like Cocoa Beach area, St. Augustine area, go way farther south. <laughs> and there's some pretty spots down there. You have nice hair. Thanks, Molten. Are you gonna tan the front? Sometimes I like to try to tan the front, but it's hard because I have to hold my chat phone like this. And I'm always scared I'm gonna drop it on my face. <laughs> Lies orange nail polish. <gasps> it is not orange, it is bright pink. Okay, first of all, I didn't actually ask for bright pink. I okay, I got this like light where's the camera? <laughs> I got this light pink color on my nails, and then I picked out a very light, even lighter color pink with shimmers for my toes, because I, I like when they almost look white. And um so that's what I picked. And then they were like, oh, this one's out. Um, we're gonna have to do a different color. I was like, oh, that's fine. I'll pick out a different color. And they're like, no, we have we have the color you picked. We just have to go get it. So I was like, oh, it's no problem. I can pick out another one. And they like insisted. They're like, no, we have this color. We'll be right back. So they go and then they come back and paint my nose, my tail. What the fuck am I saying? My toes hot pink. And I was like, God damn it, I would have rather picked out another color. I'm not a fan of like neon -y bright colors on my fingernails for some reason. It's just not my shit, but yeah, they're bright pink. I'm glad you like, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Emmys. You can do a badass headstand because you're a badass girl and I love you. Wow, thank you, Michael. I am badass. You're right. I am the star. I can do whatever I put my mind. Thank you. <coughs> Hopefully, when summer the water gets warm. Honestly, the water will probably be warm by the end of the week. We have like all week this week is gonna be uh warmer, so it's just the reason it's probably chilly is we had a cold front last week and the water probably cooled down and it just hasn't had a chance to heat back up again. You're fine, Michael. <laughs> bubblegum pink. It's it's like almost more neon than bubblegum pink. Uh, I used to have my bedroom painted when I was little bubblegum pink. Actually, it kind of is that color. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of is the color my old bedroom was. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know how I feel about it. What part of Ohio are you from? I am from, well I was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, but I've lived in Florida my whole life. about wanting a pontoon boat that morning 
and I was like, dude, I, I don't want just any pontoon boat. I want a pontoon boat that has two levels, right? So I want like bottom floor, top floor, pontoon boat. Bottom floor, I have like my grill and the seating and it's chill. We got some like fishing rod holders so you can fish down there, you can cook out, hang out. And then the upstairs is just, you know, there's some comfy, comfy seats up on the top and then you have a slide that goes into the water and then the rest of it's just for tanning and laying out on top. I want one so bad to stream on. I feel like it'd be such a playground just going out on the water every day, fishing it up, grilling out on the water. What could be better? What? I, I, I honestly can't think of anything better. I want a boat so bad. I just need a place to put my boat. Nitros, hello! Thanks for the compliments. Yes, the Kingfisher was a lot of fun to photo. Kingfisher. I have a lot more images I'll be posting of that. Yes, Kingfishers are so cute. <laughs> They're the cutest little birds with their little like mohawky hair. <laughs> yeah, your pictures are good. I was impressed for sure. I like, I like. I'll uh, look through more of your stuff after. I'll check your Instagram messages. I just went and followed you back. So. Did I move you? Hold on. Oh, I did. Okay. I moved you to my main DMs. All right. There we go. Did you make any vlogs of your travels? Um, I've taken, so I said this before, I've taken a lot of videos uh, of our travels, but I kind of am a perfectionist when it comes to like editing stuff like that. And I've over, I overthink it when I try to sit down and make it into something. So I haven't made anything. I really need some help. I feel like Braxton, if, if if I start providing him with my my videos and have him edit, then it would go well. But the problem is, like with a lot of our travel stuff, I like to micromanage how it should be edited, and then also I don't want to put it out. So I haven't put anything out yet. I do want to start doing travel stuff on my Insta or not my Instagram on my YouTube. We want a handstand followed by backflip in the splits can't do that. That's a handstand into a backflip. Okay, so land the handstand, jump into a backflip, and then land into a split. I can't do that. That's that's a lot. <laughs> I, I can do the split. I can do the handstand. The backflip, fuck that shit. I'm good. I don't want to land on my face today. I have a crush on you. Water person, thank you. I find it very hard to do a lot of gymnastics stunts on the beach that require a good jump first because a lot of times you want to do it in the soft sand that way if you fall it doesn't hurt so bad uh but then the soft sand you push off and your feet dig in so you don't get a good jump so then you go down to the hard sand and the hard sand really fucking hurts it's not it's like it's like doing a stunt on concrete because <laughs> you fuck it up it's a it's hard b you get sand rash you got a chalkboard I got this like chalkboardy. This is like a project board, but it's chalk. It's chalkboard finish, so I can wipe the, the stuff off. It's fucking cool. I like it. Water person, thank you. Did you follow me back on Instagram, uh, Michael? I'm not sure. Did you message me? Karen, how are you? By the way, if they have a TwitchCon this year, will you come? I think they are having a TwitchCon this year. Didn't they already announce it? Um, yes, definitely planning on going. I've only been to one TwitchCon. I went to the TwitchCon, I think in 2018. It was the year that I got partnered. I had only been streaming for like three months and I ended up getting partnered and I wasn't planning on going, but then when I got partnered, I was like, okay, I wanna go. I wanna go to some partner parties and meet some people. <laughs> so I went that year and then after that, the next year, I think I had like taken a break from streaming for a while like during when TwitchCon was going on, so I felt like I shouldn't go. And then ever since then, like COVID's ruined it. So I've only been to one TwitchCon. Sad, sad life. I really like TwitchCon because 
like I'm a Florida streamer there's not a lot of Florida streamers there are some people here right now that I'm trying to meet up with but for a long time there was like no one in Florida and everyone was on the west coast or in Texas so it was like impossible for me to meet anyone else who did what I did so it was just like yeah I, I do this and I don't know anyone else who does it and that's fine I guess but it would be nice to maybe like have some friends who do similar things so um yeah I would like to go to TwitchCon to meet up with like new people that's that's the best place to do it honestly meet the Twitch peeps sign you're almost a Sagittarius am I handstand for subs I have a headstand handstand into splits go all right, I'll do it. How about, how about that? I'll do it. Coast, are you on East Coast? Well needed to let, to test myself for full 10 days because my colleague got freaking corrupt. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Wait, did you already, I, well needed to test myself. For full Have you already done it? All right. So I'm doing a, what am I doing? Handstand into splits. I'm gonna get all sandy. Ugh, All right. Where can you see me? Hold on. Camera needs to go up. All right. Yeah. Spot. Juicing Warlord. I'm sorry. Juicing Warlord. Um, 
I actually, yeah, I want to get this one removed, and then I possibly wouldn't mind getting the dolphin removed from my ankle. I just don't like it as much as I thought I would. It's, it doesn't bother me that much, but I don't love it either, so I feel like it, I, if I make an appointment to get this one removed, I might ask them about the dolphin. And then I'll just have this one and this one, and then I possibly, because I've been considering it for a long time, I know this is weird to go from removing a dolphin tattoo to getting a shark tattoo, but I kind of want to get a shark really bad, either like right here where it's like nice and subtle or I don't know but I, I don't like how the dolphin looks I think I think the shark would be cool <laughs> imagine when you get to know the beaches here in Brazil you will love it yeah I need to plan a, a trip to Brazil I'm sure I would I'm sure you guys this beaches are beautiful the boy's still trying to get you back oh my god juicy Wow, you know, you, you've been around to be able to know his name. Yeah, um, recently he, I uh, can't really say exactly what he did, but let's just put it this way. I have, I don't just, you know, I do, I have multiple social media platforms, right? You know, I got like Instagram, I got Twitter, I got Twitch, I got all these things, right? And although I do them because I enjoy them, like, they're kind of like my work things, you know, like my Instagram or maybe like other platforms that have, you know, all they have, they all have the same usernames. Like I obviously do this for work, you know that, you know, I like pay taxes and stuff for it. Anyways, he maybe went to one of those platforms where it's clearly just work. Like I enjoy it. I do it. I find it fun but like it's a work thing and it's weird that he would come to it and you know so anyways he went to that and then he like creeped back up onto one of these platforms and then was being creepy and at first I didn't realize it was him and I like if it wasn't him it wasn't creepy it was just like normal whatever so I was like interacting with this person and then he said something weird that made me, yes, he did do things. He did. Yeah, he did. Okay, so you're going to, you're falling. Okay, so he did that to one of my platforms and was messaging me on there. And at first I didn't realize it was him. And so it was just like normal conversation. And then he said something weird. It was like, man, seeing your ass or something reminds me of whatever, something like that. And I was like, what? And then I realized, I didn't realize my board blew down. I realized that it was him and I was like, you know, at first I didn't really, I wasn't really mean. I was just like, you know, I get, I get you being curious or feeling the need to creep back in or whatever, but like, can you not do it? like on my twitch or this place places where it's like it's just different you know it's not if if i have an issue with let's say someone in my family i would expect them to just contact me through my phone or show up you know and and talk to me and talk it out not them going to like my other platforms or like twitch or something going in twitch chat and being like oh hey I just thought I'd creep up this way in a really awkward way to where, you know, you can't really be mean to me or tell me what you actually think. I don't know. So at first I was just like, I don't appreciate you coming here. Like, I think it's really weird and inappropriate. I don't think you should be messaging me here. I think if you wanted to talk to me, you have other routes that you could have talked to me. And then like, kind of continued and then at that point I was just basically like you keep doing this and this is the creepiest way that you've crept in yet and now I'm gonna tell you what I really think <laughs> and so I did I was just like you know thanks for grooming, grooming me for however many years that we were together um honestly you creeped me out a little bit I used to like you but then I grew up and we're different and yada 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 and I would really appreciate if you stopped because at this point 
it's just cringy and creepy and it makes me not want to talk to him even more and after that I haven't heard from him so yeah sometimes you just gotta rip band-aid off and put band-aid in the sand and then scrub it back in the burn so that they can really heal from it you know I heard the groundhog saw its shadow means six more weeks of winter Woo! I'll be on the beach six more weeks of winter! <laughs> Rocktopus, that sucks for everyone else. Dangerous as fucking Brazil these days. Oh, that's not good. Is the chalkboard your windshield? No, but that's actually a good idea, Kieran. It blew over. How recent is the X? Is it still fresh? No, it's not fresh. I've been with Braxton now for a couple of years. I mean, it's not fresh. We, okay. <clears throat> I had, when I first started streaming on Twitch, like for people who have been around for a long time, I was with a guy and we had been together for like a long time, but okay. We had been together since I was in eighth grade. Um, and we were together for seven years. But when I say together, I mean on and off. Like, we started dating in eighth grade. We went through high school and stuff dating. We would be on and off. Like, we would take breaks. He would break up with me sometimes. I would break up with him sometimes. And then I went through this, like, really wild spurt. And he ended up, my mom let him move in. Because she thought it would, like, help me not be such a crazy child having him. Because he was responsible or whatever. And then we ended up, like, living together for a little bit there. Moving out of there. Moving in to my grandma's house and then we got a place and we had two different apartments together so I would say the total amount of time that he and I actually lived together were like maybe three or four years um he and I were engaged uh we got engaged he proposed to me when I was 18 keep in mind when we started dating I was 14 I just turned 14 from 13 <laughs> like I was young as fuck and he was just turned 19 okay so very inappropriate relationship when I was younger it didn't feel that way because I was in love and he told me all the right things to get all the things he wanted but it was okay because we were in love um and then when I grew up I was like wow really creepy relationship all the things that were done look a lot like these scenarios where I see these young girls getting groomed by creepy men and oh we had these video chats where he asked me to do really inappropriate things when I was like 14 and stuff so yeah I don't like when people there's been people in chat who have been around like since the beginning and they have said stuff like oh I miss your ex or oh whatever and I'm just like do you really want to hear the tea because like we can go into it <laughs> Because I used to not share any of that with you guys. Excelsior, thank you. Michael, I love you. Yeah, live, bro. What the hell? When the hell did you turn 24? British! I turned 24 October 16th. What the fuck? Where were you? <laughs> well, if I was in a spot, I would take a peek too. But he went too far. He was trying to get caught. Yeah, and that's creepy. Your butt is not getting any sun. Because the sun is going down. I'm not really tanning anymore. I'm more just chilling on the beach. Look, the sun is going down. I mean, we still have some time. We're probably still gonna chill for a while. But uh, yeah, not really tanning. More just en enjoying golden hour and how good the beach feels. <laughs> it feels lovely. Sounds like grooming weird. Then you needed your first Twitch break. Exactly. Yeah, it, it is grooming. I mean, that's literally what it is. I, okay, so it took me a long time to realize, like, with my ex what was going on because, I mean, people would tell me all the time. I would have friends all, all the time. People would be like, this relationship is weird. It is inappropriate. Da 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 da. And I would always just be like, well, you don't understand because, like, I love him. And yeah, <laughs> that's how it always was. And then, there was, okay, I'm not gonna say the name of the Twitch streamer, but if you know, you know. There was this like lead Twitch streamer who, uh, I think it was like 
a little over a year ago. I remember I still lived at my apartment. But there is this Twitch streamer, he streams League of Legends, and he's pretty popular. I don't know if he still streams or if he got in trouble for this. But basically, there were a bunch of like leaked DMs between him and this girl. And they were like a fuck ton of Discord DMs. Like a year, I think it was like over a year or more span of him going back and forth with this girl. And their ages were very similar. Like the, she was older than I was at the time when I started dating my ex, but she was still young and their age gap was the same. Like he was, I think like five years older than her. And I, she, she posted on Twitter and she was like the story about how I got groomed by so-and-so. And I mean, this happened a lot, but I like to, I like to sometimes look through them. Most of the time I'm not really interested, but this I was like kind of interested in. And I knew the streamer, the guy, cause like that guy had been in my DMs before flirting with me. So I was very interested. Um, cause he's like pretty popular uh, leap streamer. And so I start reading through it and I'm reading this like story of how she's saying that she got groomed and I'm reading the conversations that they've had back and forth and all this weird stuff that he said to her. And it just like triggered me. It brought me back to these conversations that my ex used to have with me when I was younger and weird things that he would say that when I was younger it didn't seem weird but now that I'm older it's extremely weird for you know an older guy to say to a younger girl even if they're into them like there's just certain things that you shouldn't say to someone who's young you know because they're impressionable and they don't know these things and it's fucked up so I was like reading through all this shit and it really triggered me and then I remember I stayed up like all night that night and I told Braxton like the whole story of my past relationship and the timeline of like when we did anything, things that were like maybe sexual or whatever and I just like took him through the whole relationship and I like processed it. It was the first time I felt like I actually like processed the relationship I was in and looked back at it and looked back at how fucked it was. It took me like looking at another scenario or someone where something bad happened to them to be like, wow, that is literally what happened to me. <laughs> I think it's neat you're doing the nomadic lifestyle and building a truck bed camping rig. Hell yeah, DTV. I'm so excited for you. I feel like a truck bed, truck bed rig is really cool because you still have like all your off-roading capabilities and you can, you know get to wherever the fuck you want to go you don't have a big setup um and you can take it with you i'm excited for you hell yeah where's your first big trip thank you miss mantis i appreciate you your birthday's october 19th oh my god three days three days for mine i did not care about your ex he was yelling around about braxton <laughs> wait what you guys saw drama with him and braxton they did have some drama <laughs> For sure. How was your day? Excelsior, well, how was yours? Boyfriend or friend with benefits is a lucky man. Thank you. I'll let Braxy know. Gotten to a mirror yet? 
by that age. But, like, when I started dating him, I didn't know anything. I went to a Christian school. Like, the most I'd ever done was kiss a guy. And, um, I, let's see. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know how to do sexual things. And I didn't know how to do sexual things myself either. Like, I just didn't know what that was. I didn't know the process. Like, I learned about fucking masturbating after I met him. That's how immature I was. So, are you in California? We're in Arizona. Eric, I'm actually in Florida. East coast of Florida. Um, but nice. I love Arizona, especially right now. It's probably beautiful. I'm trying to head back there at some point. My name is Heron. I'm driving taxi. Need escort? What? Pro gamers, welcome. I can dig it, but your tits look stellar in the top. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I got this uh, top out of my storage unit. I bought this bathing suit forever ago on stream. Chat picked it out. This was chat's choice. Um, and then when I traveled for the last year, I could only have so many things on the road with me. So I, I left this bathing suit. It, it didn't make the cut, but I went and pulled it out of my storage unit. Now that I have my camper, I have, I have room for fun things. <laughs> did it why bash it now the relationship okay because I'm not I'm not bashing what I'm saying is okay what I'm saying is when you are 14 and you're with someone that old you don't realize that it's bad because you're a child that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you're like, oh, you did it, your fault. That's like being like, you know, 25 year old man goes and fucking molests the child and they said it was okay. And then you're like, you tell the child when they get older, like, you did it, you were there. Why are you complaining now? It's like, you know, that's, that's the same thing. You sound, you sound a little like you didn't get the point. <laughs> Gotta be honest. <laughs> Green speakers to wellness. How are you today? Cyber, hello, I'm doing well. How are you? Having a great day at the beach. I found, I, I went to this different beach entrance than I'm used to because um, Braxton told me that this one would probably have less people. And uh, I normally can't find parking here, but I found parking. And this beach has like, shrubs and shit. Normally beaches in Florida, like they'll have some pretty flora like walking to the beach, but then when you get down to the beach, it's just sand and flat. But I found a pretty little area with a bunch of like bushes and cute little things growing. I love this spot. I feel so at peace. I also feel hidden. I like nestled myself in between all the bushes. East side of Florida, you are correct. I'm near Cocoa Beach. You post on Instagram something from Tucson, Arizona. I know, I've been throwing people off. So I like to, when I post pictures on Instagram, I like to tag the location because we travel. And I, I just think it's, when I follow people who do like photography and stuff and they travel around, if I, really like a picture I'll click on the location to see where it is so I've been doing the same thing I always do location tags on all my pictures but I posted a picture from a while ago the the picture in Tucson I actually took that last year when I was in Tucson and I just never posted it and I was like oh wow I, I didn't post like any outdoor photography from Arizona and Arizona is beautiful so maybe I should start I don't know I've just been I've been mixing in new photography with some travel photography because I've been antsy to travel, I guess. So that's why I had a picture from Tucson. <coughs> I also posted a picture the other day with Luna, uh, Luna Lyric. She's a nomad streamer on Twitch as well. Um, she has a bus. And when I was in Washington, I, I used to have a rooftop tent that I traveled out of. She and I went and camped together and we streamed and did photography. I posted a picture with her the other day and I tagged Swim Washington and I had people asking me, they're like, oh my God, how did you get from Florida to Washington so quickly? I'm just 
like, god damn it, I'm still in Florida, guys. I'm sorry that I'm throwing everyone off. <laughs> well, I don't know the details, but you aren't the same person as you were 10 years ago. People change and might not even have been toxic. The legal age of consent is pretty low in some European countries. So you're saying, I like, I kind of get what you're saying, but the thing is like, I also don't get what you're saying. <laughs> like, I appreciate the opinion, you know? And yeah, in other countries, there are different rules on like dating and ages and things like that. But as I've gotten older, for instance, Braxton's brother, he has a brother who is 21. And then he has a sister who is the same age. So he has, they're, they're the age gap that me and my ex were, his, his siblings, his his younger brother and then his younger sister they have the age gap and I look at them too like Seth and then his younger sister Alex and I look at their maturity levels because Seth is a guy that's in that age range and then she's a girl and I was a girl you know and I, I look at their maturity levels and I see such a huge difference like it is insane their maturity levels I 100% understand why someone 21 should not be able to go and date someone who's like 14 15 because like look at it the maturity is not there like this older person can very easily push the younger person into doing things that they don't realize like this person might be like oh I love you and then the younger person is like oh I'm, I'm in love and they don't realize that like guys that age just throw that shit around they don't realize that guys will manipulate them they don't realize that they that attention could just be a very manipulating relationship they don't think about any of that because it's new to them. They haven't done any of that shit. So it is really inappropriate, okay? I don't care if European countries allow it. That's just wrong. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I'm enjoying your philosophy on life. Thank you, Cyber Thing. I enjoy you guys sharing sharing chats with me. It's fun. <laughs> War Daddy, hello, how are you? I can't read the sign, it's backwards. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Yay! <laughs> it's because I flipped the camera. I had it muted. Apparently Stream Elements has the option to have the front camera regular or mirrored, and I love that. Streamlabs did not have that option. When I, uh, I just switched over. Today's my first day using this app. I really like it. Stream Elements lets me put, like, all kinds of fun shit on the screen. <laughs> Hey lady, I'm driving, but message me so we can meet up. <gasps> Bree, I will. I don't know if you're here or saw this because I'm like super behind the chat, but 100% Bree, I will message you. Chat's been telling me you guys are heading to St. Augustine and um, I'm so down for St. Augustine. It's really close to me. Braxton's mom works in St. Augustine. We go there a lot. So if you guys are heading there, I'm so down. If you guys want to make your way this way, I'm also down for that. I got a lot of cool places I can show you guys. Uh, I'll message you as soon as I'm done with street. Did I see the Falcon 9 launch this afternoon? I saw it, but I was kind of disappointed because if I knew it was going to launch today, I didn't know that there was a launch today. I, I didn't keep up with it, I guess. But if I knew there was a launch, I would have made a point to be at the beach earlier because this is actually a great place to see the launch and it was so clear when the launch happened the sky was so clear you could see everything it was a really cool launch um but yeah i was getting ready for stream when it happened i was putting on my makeup and then i heard it and i'm like what the fuck is that and i ran outside and yeah i feel like the beach doesn't look level or is it just the way it happened <laughs> is the beach not level or is it Snowing in Texas help. <gasps> no! <laughs> Is it really? Fuck. Texans be like. <laughs> Only 16 snow tires in Texas. Fuck, guys. I don't know how you guys are going to make it. I really hope that everyone stays warm. Light your fires now. Get the s'mores ready. Candles on. It's rough. I, I guess, like, snowing in Texas is kind of like snow in Florida, but they actually get it a little bit more, but they're, like, pretty unprepared, right? Post a beach stream Twitch, 600 viewers, more like 200 viewers more. Excelsior! Excuse me? How fucking dare you ever say that about my chat? My chat is a bunch of people who like good conversation. I don't appreciate you insulting anyone in here. 
No one is here for any reasons other than good conversation. You partied with Seth, I remember. Seth is fine. We'll party with Seth again soon. He's chill. Age of consent in UK is 16, Germany is 14, Italy 14, France 15. I don't think that's right. <laughs> There's a huge difference in maturity, I agree with you. Some people have a hard time growing up, even in their 30s and 40s. That's true. There are like some old, older people who are like still very immature, which maybe would make sense for them to be with a, someone a little bit younger, but still, you know, a child's a child. Just let children date children because, you know, they're all at the same maturity level, or at least close enough, levels the playing field. <laughs> Seth find a new girlfriend yet? We can't talk about that. I'm not allowed to talk about these things because I, one time, one fucking time, came on here and started talking about that shit and not one, but two people related to that were creeping, lurking in my stream and waited for me to talk shit about them so that they could go and clip it I didn't even say their name. And then be like, oh my god, you're talking shit about me on the internet. Da, 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 da. I'm like, well, don't do shitty things to someone who fucking talks all day on the internet. I don't know. Don't be fucking dumb. Like, but anyways, I don't I, I don't talk about that stuff. So, at least right now, until he, until he gets a new <laughs> I'm in England. It's freezing, rain, sleep. Oh god, snow, showers, that sounds miserable. What do you even do? What do you do in that weather? What fun thing can you possibly do? Just stay inside? Go skiing, I guess? Thank you, American, for the shout out, guys. Definitely check out the 30 show. They're road tripping as well. They're also nomading it up. I mentioned Luna, the 30 show as well, also doing that. They have a travel van and they're from Oregon and they just made it all the way here to Florida which is like the opposite trip that I did. They came here, I went there. Um, and they're getting ready to experience the East Coast, which is where I'm from, of Florida. So you guys can see it from another perspective. Like some people who aren't from here, see what they think of it. Cause I'm always too Florida's for it. You guys can see some West Coast opinions. <laughs> They'll be like, God, this is shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> love this stream, I'm really glad I came. Devon, I love you. So glad you always choose to come and spend time with me. I feel so special. It's so great that out of all the people, it's me. That's who you want to be with. Tearing up a little bit. My 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 makeup's running. I don't know what's going on. New I'm reading the same stuff. Negative 37 in Canada. God fuck. Why? That's awful. Oh dude. Is there anywhere in Canada, I guess everywhere in Canada experiences snow, right? There's just nowhere you can go there that it's just kind of warm in the winter. Nah, it's just too far up there. Wow. So Jenna, she's from Canada. She, I follow Jenna and she, she's just in shorts with you all the time. How's she doing that? Huh. Anyways. When the 30s gonna stream, I've been waiting all day. I don't know when they're gonna stream. Ask Bree, she's in here. <laughs> She's driving, don't ask Brie actually. Um, have they streamed today? Let's see, I don't know. I haven't, I didn't see them earlier. Looks like they're not streaming right now, but um, they'll probably stream when they get wherever they're going. I don't know. I don't know, soon though. I'm gonna message them tonight, I might, I don't know what their plan is, but if they're going to St. Augustine, I, I, I'd be down to go tomorrow, but I don't know. Shroom, hello! Sex. Hey, Sticks, when's the Waifu Cup coming out? Fuck's a Waifu Cup. Crazy how the one thing with the seashell started all this. Glad to see you're living your best life. The pictures with the seashells. What did it start? What, did, what exactly do you mean that that picture started? I'm curious. What, what do you mean? The traveling? No storm, I'm supposed to show up at work, so I have a regular schedule. What kind of car do you drive, Karen? Will you be able to drive in the snow? I'm from Miami, Shroom! I'm three hours north. Hello, how are you? I'm in Cuckoo Beach, baby. 
why are you streaming on Twitch? Well, um, that's kind of a lot, I guess. Um, I started streaming on Twitch four and a half years ago. Um, my ex, the one I was talking about earlier, who um, I was talking shit about, he didn't do all horrible things. He introduced me to Twitch. Um, and he used to watch a lot of Twitch. I don't watch any Twitch. I'm not a gamer. Not very nerdy. Kind of kind of a normie. <laughs> and uh, he was like, you should stream on Twitch. I think you do really good on it. And I was like, I don't want to stream on Twitch. I don't, I don't game. And he used to try to push me to game all the time. He's like, your personality is so good for it. You love talking to people. It will help you get out. Like, because I talk all the time. He was like, it will help you get some of the energy out. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fine. A year ago, I streamed a game. I streamed, my first stream was Ocarina of Time. I got like one viewer. I fucking hated it. It was so boring. <laughs> I didn't like the game. I didn't, I mean, I liked the game. I like watching the game. But I didn't like playing the game. I didn't like streaming it. I just didn't enjoy it. And he kept pushing me to continue. <coughs> and I was like, I'll stream, but I don't want a game. And he was like, well, that's what you do on Twitch. Because, like, this was a while back. This was four and a half years ago when IRL was, I mean, IRL was still a thing, but it was just, like, less of a thing. And so he kept pushing me, and finally I was like, fine, I'll stream, but I'm just going to do my makeup. He's like, okay, no one's going to watch, but you can do it. I'm like, fine. So I streamed doing my makeup, and I got, like, 20 viewers. I had a great time. And then I was like, okay, guys, I'm going to end because I'm going to Target. <laughs> And they were like, no, stream at Target. And I was streaming on my phone, so I was like, okay, I guess I can. And I ended up streaming like eight hours that day. I had so much fun. The only reason I ended is because my phone died. Um, I like ran around Target, danced with people. Uh, I went, took chat to Starbucks. It was just so fun doing regular things, but having friends with me. <laughs> I was like, wow, if I could do this all the time. So then the next day I did it again. And then my third stream, I hit 100 followers. I got my first ban. I went to this beach. <laughs> I said, if I hit 100 followers, I'll go into the ocean. When I hit 100 followers, I put on, I, I had my bikini on under. I ran into the water. And then when I got into the water, no one used to stream at the beach. No one used to do anything like this on Twitch. It was very much like mostly guys doing outdoor IRL, girls doing indoor like PC IRL. And um, I went into the ocean in my bikini and then all of a sudden I had like 460 viewers and it was my third stream and then I got banned because some girl came and showed her titties she like pulled them out at the beach and I was like oh my god what's happening and then when I came back I had like 300 followers and things just were popping off and I was having so much fun people were putting my clip on reddit I was like hey third stream look at me so um, yeah it just became really fun I, I got really into IRL and um been doing it ever since because I, I like it. I like streaming. I think it's really fun to interact with people, meet new people, and I think it's fun because you never know what the fuck's going to happen because you're alive. I mean, you can't plan shit. So, <laughs> like, sometimes crazy shit happens and you just got to deal with it. Oh, thanks, Miss. You should. Coast of British Columbia is the only warmest place in Canada. Oh, okay, that makes sense on the coast sense for sure. I love the coast. So temperate. I thought Fiestas were British cars. I don't know. Ford Fiesta. We have those. Pinup girl in the building. Oh my god. We had someone in here earlier who did a pinup shoe and they just got on a magazine. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but thank you, Drisco. Hi, Liv. Miss your alligator exploration streams. I can do an alligator exploration stream. I'm down. You guys want some? I'll go hunt down some alligators. I'll do it. I was thinking about going kayaking tomorrow um, in a different river than I did last time. I used to go kayaking all the time in this one river and I had great signal. So that's where I'm going back to. I tried kayaking the other day in a different river and my signal was absolute shit. So I'm thinking of kayaking tomorrow, which means we'll probably have some gator experiences. <laughs> She was a Clint Steven shrimp. I was. I was a Clint Steven shrimp. I used to watch, uh, so this is the only Twitch experience I had before I started streaming on Twitch. I used to watch Clint Stevens. I used to watch Hugs86. He, he streams Smash. Uh, Clint streams Ocarina of Time. That's why, well, he used to. He streamed runs and stuff. That's why I streamed Ocarina for my first stream. 
And then I also used to watch this guy, I don't know his username now, but it used to be like Sexy Hexy and he played Dead by Daylight. There's like, the only three people I watched on Twitch, I really liked them because they're just like really large personalities. Um, or their chats are really good. Um, yeah, that was like the, and I don't, I didn't watch them for the gaming. I literally only watched them because like their personalities. So, never been into gaming. Been following you since 2018. What? Obviously, I think you can do well. Uh, for me, though, like, I think it worked out for me because I didn't start streaming and actually care about streaming. <laughs> I mean, I cared about it. Like, I cared about the people. I cared about who I was meeting. That's, like, what I fell in love with. Because originally, the only reason I started on Twitch is because, like, my ex was pushing me so much to do it because he thought I'd be good at it and enjoy it. And I was like, I don't really care. I don't know. Like, I, I don't really get it. <laughs> that all the time and then I started doing it and I loved it so that's why I did it and I think that's why I've done okay with it because I enjoy it but I think like a lot of people start streaming on Twitch and they're just like oh I just I, I just want to do whatever and make money and uh you can't you have to you have to enjoy it because I mean people pick up on your vibes so if your vibes are right chat's vibes they're not gonna I don't know to that perfect personality for this. Thank you, Cyber Thing. Kayaking, we need some big waves to push the boat. God, if I go kayaking tomorrow and there's waves, I'll cry. I hate when it's wavy <laughs> and I'm kayaking. I hate it because the waves always splash into my freaking kayak and then my electronics start getting wet and I'm just like, God damn it, it was flat when I came out here because I don't even go out there if it's rough to begin with. <laughs> By the way, the one wife cup is the thing I talked about. 
Oh, I know what a waifu cup is. Never mind. Love you more every single day. I'll never stop loving you. <gasps> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for the bits and the support. I appreciate you. Thank you for being so sweet to me always. Yeah, we saved 4%. We got this. I um, I normally plug my phone in. Like when I first started streaming, I was so good about this. As soon as I would get set up, I'll plug my phone in. And then if I would like walk away from my spot, I would unplug my phone. And then as soon as I came back, I would plug it back in. Now, I don't know what it is. I just like being mobile. So I'll sit down and run around. And then all of a sudden my phone's about to die. I'm like, fuck, I need to like walk around. And now my phone's plugged into something. <laughs> Oh dear lord, is this a flashback? It wouldn't be a true live stream if we didn't have a technical difficulty, a phone die, something. It, something bad's gotta happen. <laughs> Partner anniversary. I remember something about oil and sliding. Maybe I could do something like that. Yeah, um, my partner anniversary I think is February 18th, so I'm gonna try to do something fun. I don't know what yet. Um, we could maybe do another slip and slide. I've done quite a few of those here. I think I'll probably still be staying outside of Braxton's parents' house where like camping and their yard. And I've done this, the last time I did a slip and slide was in their yard. So that would actually be perfect. The sun is down, the phone follows the sun's example. It makes sense because honestly, I normally end streaming whenever the sun goes down because you know, need lighting. So my phone, my phone's over it. My phone's like, all right, bitch, we've had a day. Make your own fun. This is different than trying to make content. I just try to have fun. I mean, if I'm not having fun, I'll just switch it up and do something else. <laughs> this water tastes a little odd. I haven't used this water bottle in a while tastes kind of like if my water was soaking in tangerine juice. I don't know. Noah, I'm good. How are you? I travel with, with work in many cities and would like to explore different places and bring people along for the ride. No, you can do IRL streaming. Ah!
yeah, chat, as I was saying, the 30 show, they are living out of a van right now, nomading as well. And they just came from Oregon all the way to Florida. And we're gonna be hanging out at some point. I'm gonna be messaging Bree after stream. And we're gonna be planning to hang out. And I'm so excited. I hardly ever get to meet other streamers. But I've got but the ripest of farts materia that brought me. Oh my god, cyber thing! Welcome! The 30 show! Thank you so much! Five gifted subs in chat! You know what, guys? You know what? To end the day, let's go get some prawns and bits and all! Thank you so much! Alright, we've been working towards a headstand all day. I'm about to leave and you actually just put us at our headstand goal, so... <laughs> Be prepared! <laughs> um... All right, chat, we're getting ready to leave the beach, but not before one celebratory headstand for the road. I gotta, I gotta clean my towel off because it's covered in sand and I don't want that shit on my face. Is the sky not so pretty right now? It is so beautiful out. This is my favorite time. I really like morning right when the sun's coming out and then this time of the day right when the sun goes down the sky is still like really colorful and pretty and the wind starts blowing and there's no mosquitoes or no gnats and it gets less hot and it's awesome so all right what is a gummy stream making edibles <laughs> i might still do it <laughs> all right do i have to i might need to back up more all right Hold up, hold up, all right. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, I haven't done one of these in a minute, I'm scared. Okay, I got this. I'm still a pro, still a pro. No need to worry. Down camp, guys. Gotta get this shit going. We gotta get on the move. This is when all the creepy people come out. Awesome. 
we're gonna go and touch the water one more time because it feels wrong to leave the beach and not have dipped my toes in before I go, you know? Does it ever get cold in Florida? We had a cold front last week where uh, it got to like 60s. <laughs> actually no, at nights we got down to like 40s and 30s last week. So it actually got cold, but this week our high is like 70s. Hello, little chest. Mopar, hello, how are you? All thanks, Madeira. Nice to see beach and hear ocean sounds. Guys, I got you, I love the beach. Anytime I can go to the beach, I'm at the beach. The weather's nice, I'm going. And even what's cold in Florida isn't really cold. Yeah, we're kind of little bitches in Florida. Um, like last week, I was like, holy shit, it's so cold. <laughs> and it wasn't cold. It wasn't really cold at all. My makeup is everywhere, I look crazy. But whatever. Oh god. One second chat. I have chat on this phone too for when I walk around and I had it scrolled really far up. Here's negative, you know, uh, Celsius. It's 22 out here right now. 71.7 degrees. The water temperature here at Cocoa Beach earlier when I went in was 62. It's actually really cold. water actually had time to heat up. It's an amazing stream. Thank you. I'm in Vegas. It's been in the 50s. Oh no. Actually 50s isn't so bad. So, so shaky. I have you guys on a gimbal but I have you guys plugged in to my power bank and it makes a cord run to the phone and it makes my gimbal not work as good as it's supposed to. It likes to have a lot of issues when it's plugged in. So, um, show my tattoo. My leg tattoo. It says it's better to be absolutely ridiculous rather than absolutely boring. Which, yeah. Don't get phone wet. I'm not going all the way. I just want to feel it. It's cold out. I mean, it's not cold out, but the water's cold. All right, chat. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. That's an Elton John quote, right? It's a Marilyn Monroe quote. <laughs> um, anyways, guys, if you haven't followed the stream, make sure to follow. I do outdoor IRL, I'm a nomad. I've been traveling now on the road uh, for over a year. Um, I have a camper now. I used to have a rooftop tent on top of my Subaru Outback. Um, we're getting ready to go out on another big adventure, but this time with Starlink. So I'm really excited because I'll be streaming for you guys in way more secluded places than I went even before. And I'll be able to bring you guys like 4K high quality streams too doing that. So that's cool. Um, I am leaving you guys. The sun's going down. I'm sorry. I have to go pack up my stuff, walk back to my car, I'm going to call Braxton because I always get scared when I leave here because I always get like creepy people coming up to me. Oh shit, I could avoid a lot of creeps. I have an idea. I have a dress. <laughs> I forgot I have a cover up. <laughs> Sometimes I don't have cover ups. Um, anyways guys, if you haven't checked out my Instagram or my Twitter, I post professional photography on both my Instagram and my Twitter. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, Snapchat, everything's lipsticks, exclamation, Discord for the Discord link. I announce when I'm going live on my Discord store or my Discord announcements, Instagram stories, and Snapchat stories. And I will be streaming tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, 
doing outdoor outdoor IRL. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go kayaking tomorrow. I do want to do a raid and I have someone in mind. Guntown, hello! I'm actually getting ready to end. Um, okay guys, we're gonna raid my friend here. Uh, okay, how do I do a raid? Uh, I think I do it like this. <laughs> I haven't raided in a while. A while, boy. Um, oh god, is that his username? Yes, okay. This is one of Braxton's uh, friends. He just started streaming and he's been like really grinding it out. <laughs> and he's actually pretty good at gaming and he's chill. So if you guys don't mind going into the raid, it's one of my friends saying, uh, live is queen, all right? Live is queen, guys. Everyone go to the raid, it'll be fun. He has like no viewers. <laughs> all right, mwah, mwah, mwah. Kisses to you guys later, goodbye.